not really a video, it's a live stream. I am streaming this unlisted because uh, I was originally going to do this with an audience, with you guys. Live, public live stream, you know, that kind of stuff. But there are so many things that can go wrong in today's uh, speedrun attempt. Yeah, the title gave it away, so why not say it with a voice? There's so many things that can go wrong that, well, if it happens, I'd rather just have the unlisted video and just, you know, sweep it under the rug. Pretend like it never happened and then try again, which is actually the third time it happened, because it's the, my third time trying to start this live stream. Uh, first time we had some technical difficulties and the second time I had to, well, had to go away take a short break I was needed somewhere but now that we are here let's talk so the timer of the live stream will not start just yet well the timer of the speedrun itself uh, as I've said in the title probably most likely world first battle lord 100% speedrun or something of the sort something to that effect now last I checked about 10 minutes ago there was no Bannerlord 100% speedrun. There were some speedruns with 100k dinars earned, which, you know, smithing. There was some other guy with a 5 hour long live stream that said speedrun, but I checked the end of his speedrun and he didn't conquer the world, so you know. Maybe someone did it before me. If they did, they didn't show up in, uh, in YouTube search, so there we go. If all goes to plan and if all goes well, which is another topic I want to talk about, this will be the first Bannerlord speedrun ever. Oh yes, Hand Rubber Clan. The Hand Rubber Clan intensifies. Those of you who watched my videos know the meme. Those of you who, those of you who didn't might be weirded out by my hand rubbing. Alright, what else I was going to talk about? Mm, oh yeah. The thing I referenced. If I, I said, if this video goes well, as I've said in the beginning, there's many things that can go wrong. The most common occurrence of this is uh, a game crash. If my game crashes and I have to restart from a previous checkpoint, that will not... Uh, we will not pause the speedrun for that. It's part of the game, you know part of the gaming experience to just crash the game and log back in so you know as soon as my uh, character is created let's let's go here all right I'm gonna be playing Batanian because you know because I want to now when my character is customized and I press next, that's when the speed run begins. I'm not doing this with a timer because there's no point. You can just calculate the timer from the moment I press next in the video and, you know, to the end. Or to the end timestamp, something like that. Alright, a word about speed runs. I've uh, previously watched some Doom Eternal speed runs from Draku and Zero Master those guys are awesome now the doom eternal speed runs 100% speed runs those are very skill based can't say the same about bannerlord livestream there is a little bit of skill involved I'm not gonna lie but mostly it's about finding the right strategy implementing it and being lucky luck will determine whether this livestream lasts for 6 hours or 12 we never know, we will never know how long this will take. I have done some testing before and uh, it took me 9 hours, but you know, it wasn't in a single live stream. it wasn't in a single sitting, I wasn't prepared for that, I had to take breaks and you know, do other stuff, but now I've allocated the entire day to this. So let's hope, let's hope it goes well. One last thing before we begin. The sound quality and, well, the quality of the narration and everything else, as you can say, as you can tell, it's not my best work. I mean, there, there's a reason I'm scripting my videos. 
you can see I'm not extremely well versed in uh, I'm forgetting the word in speaking in public speaking call it whatever you want it's a reason I'm scripting my videos cannot there's a whirlwind of ideas and talking points in my head and uh, if they're not organized it's a complete mess so customizing my character there's not much I can say about customizing I'm just gonna randomize until I find something that looks somewhat human I guess this one works ain't so bad this one works better all right some better looking beard let's make myself a ginger now, this ain't the most handsome chap but you know it doesn't matter he will conquer the world okay before we begin before I press next and the timer starts is there anything else I wanna say yes there is I will not do this with an open microphone oh oh as I said whirlwind of ideas you see it's a complete mess so I will not do this with an open microphone I will occasionally open my microphone and pitch in talk about what I'm doing in that particular moment but I'll mostly be quiet because I gotta focus on whatever the hell I'm doing so you know that's very important and then again I was talking about quality but I didn't say everything I wanted to say the audio quality is not going to be the best I've ever provided because well I do most of my live stream with my headphones on so you can't hear the in-game sound onto the mic but because this live stream is going to last a minimum of five to six hours well my headphones are very uncomfortable and they give me a headache if I keep them on for too long so I'll be doing this with speakers instead so yeah when I'm opening my mic to talk about whatever I'm doing in the game you might hear some in-game sound sorry about that but compromises gotta be made my health is more important than the audio quality of the live stream which you know let's be honest most people will skip through it there nobody's gonna watch six hours or nine hours or whatever it's mostly here for proof of authenticity at the end of this live stream I will be doing a scripted and edited video about how I've conquered the world in uh, nine hours or something like that something to that effect so yeah I will summarize all of my doings here in one single video maybe 10 minutes long 20 minutes long it doesn't really matter before I press next allow me to ensure that uh, you know we're actually streaming the thing gotta check my channel on my phone we are streaming let's see voice going all right we are streaming let's see voice going all right yeah the voice is going all right all is good guess I will occasionally check my phone to see if we're still actually streaming or not I believe that was it for this lengthy intro there was a lot to there was a lot to lay on the table, a lot to swallow. And then here we go. Let's hope I can do this today in a single live stream, even if the game crashes. As long as the electricity, as long as my power grid is all right, the stream will keep going regardless of what happens. All right, I believe we are ready. Let me check one final thing. Broadcast live. Microphone on. You should not have heard my previous things because my microphone, my hotkey was turned off. All right, my guy is ready. Ooh, let's meditate. Let's be zen. Begin the countdown, boys. Here we go. We are playing on realistic, so you know, 
That's my favorite part of the live stream, playing on realistic. It will make some things slower, but that's okay. Okay, uh, time to shut the fuck up. All right, boys and girls, moment of truth. First, we need to recruit, as always. Now, I'm not going to try very hard to do this extremely fast, maximum speed, because there's no point. But yeah, let me shut up and I will explain what I've been doing. All right, sold my unneeded equipment and bought some boots because you cannot do a speed run without wearing shoes, you know, it's gonna hurt your feet. Very important. Now we are buying some test things from here. Some cheese, some butter and some uh, pottery. And it's costing, uh, costing me too much money. And we will test them, test them into Onika. As I said, at some point I might sound like a complete and utter retard. That's because, uh, you know, I'm mostly focused on doing my things really fast. So, you know, can't do much about that. All right, then. Everything sells well. Okay, we have some luck. Some villagers have arrived in here. Let me sell the grain. And we will wait for the villagers outside. I've already talked in my guide, in my expert trade guide about what use villages, villagers are. Okay, cheese sold. Uh, cheese fetched the best price, right? Okay, might, might, might be time to shut up. I think. I think it might be time to shut the fuck up. And I will eventually talk once uh, once my main thing is over in here. And I will explain everything I've done when I have the time. I have a bit of time now because I just need to just to walk from town to town, village to village. So I've done some quick transactions, made a little bit of money, got me some few cheap horses, a few cheap horses, again I'm talking like a retard, sorry about that. And now I'm on my way to Lycaron to hopefully sell the, the grapes I've bought. This is not the smoothest start. I've tried this start many times so far and uh, it went well, but I'm fucking up now. Okay, some villagers in here. We can get some easy money, okay. Grapes, they're not fetching a lot of profit, so we're gonna cancel the sale and do something else. Okay, a caravan and some villagers. Now, I can just sell to caravans and get a lot of money and skill points. Skill points are very important, we'll be doing this with trade. We'll be conquering the world with trade, but um, you know, I right now I don't need 225 skill level. Well, that comes later. Right, something for Poros and Zeonica.
Well, as I've said, there's a lot of talking about luck, and as you can see, I'm not very lucky in here. Gotta pay these guys off, because, you know, fighting them takes a very long time. Cuts into my speed run. Again, lots of luck is required for this. Villagers of Popsia, I don't have the money to buy what they're selling. They are going to supply like Aaron with wood, so I will wait for them to show up before I buy the wood from here. Maybe it's gonna make a difference, maybe it won't. We're gonna wait in here for some time and check it out. Again, luck determines what... Uh, luck determines the prices you get and encounters you get and there's a lot of stuff involved in this game. Pretty sure price should have dropped. Hell yes it did. And we can sell this to Porus for 40. But we are going to do something else, actually. Mm, you know I'm a bit sad because I won't get I won't be able to sell that silver. Oh my god. I'm wasting time explaining stuff. I <laughs> no, this is not how it's done. We don't explain stuff during a speed run. I'm gonna have to come here and buy that silver, but for now, I'm just gotta go. Villagers of Sestadime. Cannot buy their horses because I don't have money. What the hell? I nearly attacked them. I will have to, to come back in here. Alright. As always, talking and playing the game, especially when you're trying to do things fast, doesn't really work. So I'll be back with you guys when I'm able to. My first goals in these first few moments is making a lot of money real fast, a minimum of 10,000 dinars, hiring recruits and getting myself some horses, a lot of work horses if possible. God damn, there's a looter infestation in here. Well, they won't attack me because uh, they have no reason to. Okay, these villagers, I can buy their horses. I'm not even looking at the price of the horses, I just know they're selling for a profit. That I'm getting a good price for them. Alright, pottery is good. Iron ore? No siree. Silver ore? God damn, look at this price. Wonderful. And it can sell to Poros. But before I go to Poros, I think I, I can afford to do a run around to Sestadime. And I will talk to the villagers of Amicon. Get their horses too. I hope. Oh my goodness, my party is starving. That is unacceptable. Luckily, I can do this, and I'm wasting a little bit of time. Oh boy, not gonna catch him, am I? Or am I? Yeah, I am. Party starving. That's a shame. Also, I forgot to hire more guys into my army. Okay, there's some villagers in here and a caravan. 
Okay, villagers are here. I can intercept them by their horses. Now this talking might be annoying to some people. Okay, this is a good price, but we won't get all we won't get all of it unless we are wait unless we're willing to wait alone. We need the caravan. There we go, caravan and villagers. Caravan. I'm selling them all the thing. Getting me lots of money. Wait, maybe I can also Yeah, I can sell some horse meat as well. Could have done that with shift and I would have gotten more money faster. And now let's wait for the villagers. I might have already talked with them. Have I? Yeah, I have. A minor waste of time. Lots of caravans in here. Alright, we're done with this zone. On to the next. I'm already at 8.5k. It's pretty fast, I think. It's faster than all I've done in my previous tests. Well, to, to reach this point. Not other points. Enter Smithy. That's a mistake. That's gonna cost me a couple of seconds, but it doesn't matter. As I said, this isn't a scale-based speed run. In the long term, strategy is all that matters. So I can go as slow as I want, as long as I don't fuck things up. And you know, I might have to wait in here. Oh, no, I don't have to wait in here, because there's already villagers of Onika and Alsasos. If I'm lucky, I can get both of them. If I'm not lucky, I'm only going to get one of them. Actually, two of them. Villagers of Onika, they've left, and I should be able to intercept them. And villagers of Tarkutis. And once we're done obtaining these horses, we can move on to greener pastures. Literally. Now, I don't know exactly everything I'm doing. So I'm just going to experiment. Maybe I shouldn't buy anything from here. It is a waste of time, I know, but, you know better to waste a little bit of time then better to waste a few seconds to make up your mind then go balls deep into something and be wrong Okay, invested 2,000 dinars into horses, but we're gonna move faster, so in the end it's worth it. Alright, on to Seonon. That is the best town to buy stuff. Including horses. Work horses or otherwise. Remtoil is burnt down, so we can't expect to meet their villagers. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye out for villagers around Seonon, buy their horses real cheap. And supply. See, villagers of Swenrin. I bought each workhorse for 8 dinars apiece. Bought lots of goods in there. And now we could sell them to Lageta or Ortigia. Or, you know, we will eventually sell them. And because I'm playing on a different patch than the current patch, I can just sell to caravans if they pass near me. I'm not catching up to... Or am I? I am. Let's see if we're getting good prices. Yeah. Clay sells pretty well, meat does. Grain is very profitable. 
cheese not so much but it doesn't really matter so we already made where are we no, almost at 10k it's time to look for companions now Mr. Bidal the Scholar, unfortunately he's a... Uh, he's in a good place, but... Uh, I don't need that. Alright, no companions that I need. I need at least an engineer and there's no engineers available. I search for all of them. So you know, now that we're 9k, we're gonna buy Pugios. We're gonna be doing a lot of smithing in between. Right, I'm wasting some time. So, we'll still be... Hmm, look at this guy. Oh well, he's a medic. He's not that bad, I guess. We're gonna take him. Right, now we need wood, pugios, and other uh, weapons we can smelt, and companions. But I also need to, make, to keep making money and earning trade skill. I'm going to need my trade at uh, level 125 soon, as soon as I can. These villagers, they have good prices on horses near Ortesia. No need to recruit troops. We're going to Kiaz very briefly. Can earn some easy money in there. Especially if I keep an eye out for the guys. Oh, also, there's some. Let's not do this without music, eh? I knew something was missing. I bought some more workhorses, which, well, I can sell their meat. And I can also purchase a little bit of fish in here. That's why I mainly came. Oh, and some beer as well. Reasonably priced. Okay, let's hope this brings us a good profit. Let's move on to Ortesia.
like that exploit. Caravans uh, rebuild their money supplies after you leave them alone. Okay, we're done trading for now and we need to just hire companions and uh, get started on smithing. We will still be doing some trades in the meantime, don't get me wrong. We need to. We need the 125 skill for our plan to work properly. But yeah, it's not our primary concern right now. We can do... we can start smithing as soon as I hire my third companion. This is going pretty well so far. I am doing some errors which are costing me quite a decent amount of time. But you know, it's good so far. It's alright. Gain a skill point in riding, hell yes. Caladog's army, are you besieging Lagetta? Hell yes. We can make a very good trade in here. But first, I'm going to approach this guy right here near Seonon and buy his cheap workhorses. Alright, let's stock up. We need to buy some smithing materials, but mostly, most importantly, we need to buy some good stuff to sell. Like grain, all the clay, hardwood is still, there's still a little of it. Everything, I'm gonna fill up my caravan. We do need the skill points. Alright, that seems to be pretty much it. I'm not seeing any iron ore, which is a shame. But I can buy my iron ore from here. For a very cheap price. Wonderful. And I can also buy some wood from Andern. Andern. Whatever it's called. Again, a very good price. And we are ready to go, I guess. Let's go to Lagetta. Eventually the siege will be lifted and I will sell my stuff in there. Earn some easy skill points. But I'm not going to sell directly to the town because there's a good exploit. You can sell to caravans instead. Because as I said, I'm playing on a different patch. There's lots of caravans that pass through here, so I can camp for them, even if the siege is still going. But we could wait a little bit longer. Like, let's see. Current price of... What do I care about? What's my most expensive thing? Cows, but... Let's look at iron. Iron ore 87. I'm gonna keep waiting. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm gonna be good. It's all good. The city will fall to the Batanians soon enough. And I will wait for as long as I can so I can get good prices. If I'm playing my cards right, well, I can get my I can get the skill point I want right now. Well, the siege was lifted for some unknown reason. All right, let's keep an eye out for caravans.
Now that thing I've done with the caravan eh, was a very financially irresponsible thing. Selling him the wood and then buying it back for a lot higher price. Well, the reason I've done that is because I needed my wood back and I needed to sell it for skill points. So, you know, I have taken a loss, but I'm also gaining stuff. Right, I need more wood. Or do I? Villagers of Swenrin, these uh, guys are selling horses. Buy everything, I don't care. I'll still need to do a couple of good trades to get the scale to where I want it to be. But in the meantime, it's time to hire a third companion if I can. It's not available here. Yep, need another one. And I will occasionally check my encyclopedia for new... new guys, new companions to hire. Could use a quartermaster, an engineer, now why am I trading? I should not be trading. Alright, I got three random ass companions. Alright, it's time to spend a little bit of time at the forge. Alright, good. Wasted a bit of stamina, unnecessarily, but here we go. Exploit number two that I'm going to use. So now I can craft uh, more charcoal up to the same amount of wood. Well, slightly more wood, apparently. But I'm still getting more charcoal. And all my guys can do the same now, as long as I have that one selected. I select that one with the character, and then I go through all the others. And now, we have some charcoal. And we can just uh, keep doing stuff. I'm not going to be able to explain everything I'm doing as in detail as much as I would want, like in one of my tutorials, mostly because, you know, I'm focused on something else. But I'm doing my best for you guys. Not that it matters, I mean, I'm still going to have one video where I'm explaining everything I've done. Including the fact that I'm talking like a retard. Right, we need to pass by Penconok, stock up on some cheap clay. Because we need to do a, a few more sales. A few more good sales, actually. And I need to do them urgently because I'm running out of money. Yep, no time to pass by Penconok. And actually, I do have the time, but I don't have the money. I need to get rid of the shit I'm carrying. Maybe the Batanians are still sieging Lageta? It would go well for me. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, man, lost that one. Come on, stop! Let's see what we're getting. Hmm, nothing good. Can sell the wine for profit, but that's it. Need to go buy Ortigia.
Nope, I still need to do some trades, it looks like. Actually, I'm not going to Seonon, I'm going to Epic Rotea. We can buy some good stuff in there. I can also sell my horses in there. Because, you know, my skill point... Skill point is more important than mobility at the moment. But yeah, since I'm forging now, since I'm smithing and doing all that kind of fun stuff... Well, I'm waiting for caravans and while waiting I'm regenerating my stamina. So you know, it all goes well. It's all part of the strategy I talked about, but it looks like it does... It looks like I don't need to wait for any of these caravans. They're all showing up. Old workhorse for 65. Hmm. There ain't good prices for anything. Except for the horses, somewhat. Alright, I'll be doing a bit of smithing in Seonon for a couple of days. All right, time to do more trading. Now my trade routes have kind of been exhausted and I did not I did not get the most out of them. I was supposed to get a lot of skill points and money in Lageta when it was being sieged, but as you've seen, three battalion armies got scared by an army that was half their size. Well, half of a single army's size. So that was weird. Let's see, Southern throwing daggers, they're good, but I cannot afford, cannot afford this expenditure. I have to sell a few of my things. All right, I think we... Now what the fuck is this? 
Why did the embers of the flame suddenly declare a war on me? That makes no sense. Anyway, let's see what we can sell in here, and then we can wait for a caravan to show up. Not a whole lot of stuff. The wine and the clay could be good. But we're waiting. We're waiting, regenerating smithy stamina, and keeping an eye out for caravans, because that's what we care about. There we go. Here's a winner. Well, not really. I'm the winner. Now I'm going a little bit uh, in unfamiliar territory. I did not do this during my standard runs, during my test runs, but I'm, I'm finding myself in need of improvisation. Because Seonon has been bled dry by, the, by this point. So I gotta run in and see what else I can trade to level up my skill. I have to admit, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just heading in all directions, hoping to land something. Alright, we can definitely sell some stuff in here. Do I have stamina? No, I don't. Need to wait for a caravan to come in. Alright, now I gotta keep going to Dunglanis and uh, Carbon Seth, the Batanian cities I have not visited, and look for southern throwing daggers. Those can give me a lot of smithing materials. And you know, that's kind of important in the long run. There we go, that's a large number of daggers. That is wonderful. Ouch, I don't have the money to buy everything I want. So you know, I gotta sell again. Maybe Lagetta is getting under siege once more. That would be great for me. If not, we're gonna check Ortesia, Kiaz. And then the rest of the Empire. This isn't going as well as I was planning to, but again. Luck plays a big part. Said this several times already today. 
Okay, there's definitely some raids happening in here. Okay, we can definitely earn some good profit if we wait for a caravan. Gotta wait a little bit for my stamina to regenerate anyway. Okay, we're ready to go to the forge. And I'll be smelting. Good skill points, materials, and we also get good stuff. New designs. Okay, and you will refine me some crude ore. And we're gonna regenerate our stamina once more and wait for caravans. Now, if I were to do this live with an audience, with you guys watching, I would have to keep my chat closed because my eyes have to be peeled on the monitor. I cannot let one single second pass by. If I did, I would have missed this one. This caravan. And you see, I'm starting to get the skill points I need. Also gonna sell my horses. Eventually. Alright. This is not how I'm going to raise my skill to 225. It's... It's not impossible, but it's too tedious. It might have might take me a lot more time than I was originally originally planning. Okay, fish. Fish doesn't give me any profit in here. Might have to sell it to Ortizia. One hundred and fourteen, almost at one hundred and twenty-five. Okay, Artesia, oh, yeah, we go to Artesia and then Kia's and I don't know what else. No, we're not. We're actually going to Maronath. Through here, preferably. Or, you know, anywhere. Doesn't matter. Those are some good prices, but we need to wait. I already told you what this does. Waiting does take some time, but we make the most out of it. Because we're waiting for the caravan to maximize our profit and our skill point gain. And our smithy stamina. Waiting. The worst thing you could do during a speed run. Speed run. And yet, something that I'm, I'm forced to do. One hundred and fifteen. Okay, let's buy some cheap stuff in here. We need to continue trading, but... You know, soon. Actually, I'm not going to buy anything from here right now. Let the caravan buy whatever he wants. I need to buy the hardwood from here. And the iron from Beglomoir, if the price is good, might not be 81. It's kind of... It is indicated with green, but I'm not so sure. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if I have any useful weapon designs. Two-handed swords are usually my go-to. 
Oh fuck yes! This site, if this is as good as I remember, that's it. That's it. This is our end game already. Let's see. The, as far as I know, in this particular patch, this is the best weapon design you can uh, get. But uh, before we do that, let's maximize our things in here. Alright, make the most out of our stamina. Pointy Falc. 28 skill points, yeah, that's the thing. That's it. This is our big money maker. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Luck. This, I have gotten unlucky at some points, in some regards. But this right here, this is pure luck. Because uh, the thing uses primarily wrought iron and it sells already for 63k so that's it my my path to loads of money that i need is already secured i don't need to worry about anything anymore can just buy a couple of these and a couple of these and there we go infinite money already so I have infinite money, now all I need to do is uh, do stuff, trade. All these designs, they're useless. That is the best weapon you can craft for money. It's not the best, it's not the most profitable or anything like that, but... Well, it's definitely the one that uses the least amount of materials for the most money. Best bank for your buck. I believe it's called Southern Throwing Daggers. Yeah, they're useless now. Because the Leaf Blade Throwing Knives and the Western Throwing Knives, you can smelt these into wrought iron and, uh, you know, better iron, I guess. You can also buy some armor with this money. Hell yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. My end game is done. Well, end game. More like mid game, I would say. Now let's sell another one. 39k. I'm gonna sell this one. Wonderful. Okay, most of my grinding, most of the grinding that I was going to do for a good weapon to sell and get that stuff, that was it. And you know what? Let me save my game. Let me quick save, because you never know when the game can crash. And I'm going to wait here a little bit for a caravan to stroll into town so I can approach it and buy all the workhorses for cheap. I'm not seeing the price. Uh, 26 it says. Wonderful. This is the best thing I could have hoped for. Now I no longer need to grind for a good weapon. I can just craft the pointed falcons and, you know, eventually I will unlock better weapon designs that sell for more money but also require more materials. So I can get the big money maker but I already have some. As I've said, this is the best weapon you could hope for in this particular patch. And I keep talking about this patch, this patch, this patch. What do I mean? What do I even mean? Let me save my game save 001 as you can see I'm playing on the 1.2.1 patch so you know lucky I'm going to name my save game
I was waiting for a bit longer than I should have. Oh, before I continue forging, let me do something real quick. Curious smelter, curious smith. An experienced smith and practical uh, refiner? No, smelter. For focus points, which I'm never gonna use anytime soon. I should train my charm a little bit. I will need it eventually. But not right now. I don't need to worry about my character at this particular moment. All right, all my characters are good for smithing. Oh, but I still needed something, right? Right. Let's smelt first. Smith, whatever. Alright, my trade route Seon on Lageta is pretty good for skill points, so I might continue doing it, but uh, it is going quite slowly, I would say. Might need to go some other place as well. Maybe back to Poros. Oh god. I'm getting overburden in here. Alright, I will pass through every Imperial town through Poros until I get to Poros and uh, I will be looking for Pugios. As well as other weapons I couldn't smell. Plenty of good stuff to trade in here. Let's wait for a caravan. And let's make sure I don't wait more than I should. I will need to go to the smithy soon. Now this is a bug.
All right, trade level 125 is within my grasp. I will sell that, well, a portion of that wood. Because my skill is more important than the materials, 122. And we gotta do a couple of more sales with the wood. One twenty-four and the next sale should get me to one hundred and twenty-five. I'll explain shortly why level one hundred and twenty-five is important in my run. Why it's an important part of my strategy. Low artisan community. Profitable workshops gain you one renown per day. Now I will need a, uh, you know, decent clan size, maybe not tier 4, but maybe not even tier 3. But tier 2 and tier 1 are achievable in a few hours with that perk if we have workshops. And I did select workshops, yes. Great investor, caravan. No, I selected the one with the profitable shop. I know this is taking time out of my uh, quote-unquote speed run. But, you know, I can afford to waste a little bit of time because, you know, I got lucky with that weapon design. So, of course, I'm going to be here in Seonon. I'll be buying a smithy. Before I buy a smithy, though, I need to check the local workshops by going in here and seeing if there's any smithy because I... Nope, there's not. What is in here, though? Clothier, Tanner, Vintner. It's okay. We're gonna buy the closest one. Once I reach Clan Tier 1, I'm currently Clan Tier 0, I will go to buy another, a secondary workshop. Increase my daily renown gain to 2. I'll probably set myself a tannery in Omor. That's a pretty good one. Also, loading screens are my favorite because I get to talk without having to focus on anything else, like the game itself. Oh my goodness, my guy is so slow. Come on. Come on. All right, that pause right there. The pizza I ordered. As I've said, I did test this uh, speed run, if you want to call it that. I did test it before, but there was a slight problem. I needed to take a lunch break and a dinner break, and I could not do it in a single sitting. Now with the pizza, that's my secret weapon. Yes, good sir, I would like to buy your pizza maker. Let's make a smithy. I can make a pizza at the forge. So yeah, when I get hungry, pizza awaits me. Hell yeah. Alright. Well, we're pretty much set up for success now. Got all I need. Got a trade perk, got things, got whatever. I'm gonna buy more workhorses and... Oh, whoa, I need, nearly forgot about something almost as important. First, let me check my stamina. Okay, 100%. When my clan level increases, I'll be able to hire an additional companion. So, you know, even more smithing. Now, two-handed sword. I'm not gonna check... I'm not bother... Blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna bother checking the other designs, because they don't matter. Okay. Let's use some steel in this design. I can afford it. Actually... This one will be made out of iron. Or, you know, wrought iron. Or steel, I don't care. I 
All right, we're gonna name this one Fancy Falcon. and we're gonna see if the extra materials make a difference. I'm also gonna make a basic one with just, you know, crude iron and wood. Where is it? This one. It's a piece of shit. And an iron pommel. I don't have an iron pommel. I only have... Oh, there we do. There we go. We're gonna name this one Simple Falk. And we're gonna see the difference. Okay, the simple folk and the fancy folk have the exact same uh, value, so there's no point in wasting my steel and fine steel when I could be using it for better weapon designs that can fetch more money. Better, when I say better, I don't necessarily mean better, objectively speaking. Better as in it gives you more money, but you know, since, since, it's, gonna, since it's gonna cost you more materials, it's harder to make. So it's not really worth it. All right, one more falk. Two-handed pole. Let's check the other designs. War razor is another good thing. And also the harpoons. The harpoons, if you buy some good stuff for them, well, this one is more important. Let's check the. Let's check this one. I doubt it's going to be good, in this patch the, the harpoons weren't that good. But I guess we've earned the right to experiment a little bit. 10 skill points in spitting. Could be good. We will compare it to the Falk though. Okay, that's pretty good. But that's because I used the fine steel pommel. So, you know, anything that uses fine steel, it's not very profitable in the long run. Let's see. If I just do a harpoon... Without this, without the fine steel thingy... Simple harpoon... And this one will be a decorated harpoon. Well, still gain 16 skill points. Might be good. Let's see. We've earned the right to experiment a little bit. The simple harpoon... Well, the guy's smithing skill is lower. But it does seem quite a big difference. We'll see. The simple harpoon is better for skill points, though, to level up the smithing, the smithing skill of our guys. But before we go any further, let's see, vigorous smith, smith. We will allocate the focus points and attribute points later. All right, the harpoon is in. It's a pretty good design, I'm not gonna lie. Especially this one. One piece of iron, one piece of wood. And yes, we have earned the luxury of naming our weapons. Because we're not losing much time. It's not gonna make a difference in the speed run. We're already set up. Just a couple more things to do, which should last a couple more hours or more, and we will be done. Right, what was I doing here? Okay, I'm going to wait in here for a day, waiting for a caravan to show up. Just so I can buy their stuff, their workhorses. They're cheap, they're good. The herd is dragging me down quite a lot, but it doesn't matter.
I will need more soldiers into my army. And the way I'm gonna get more soldiers is actually not too hard. I'm gonna need to get married to someone with a good quartermaster skill. Chalia. My wife from the trader stories and corporate reports. As far as I've checked, and I haven't looked very in... I've not looked at potential wives very much, but from what I've checked, she's the one with the highest stewardship skill. So yeah, I'm gonna need to marry her. I could actually work my way towards her usual location, Varagos Castle, right now. But not before buying more stuff in here. Okay, before we do more stuff, let's check it out. 17 Renown. Once I start earning a profit from my things, from my workshop, I should be... I should be getting my stuff. My Renown. I do have a workshop, right? I do. Ironmonger. It's currently not making any money. But that's because I bought all the iron. So, well, it's gonna be a couple of days. But if it takes too long for the Ironmonger to make money, I'm just gonna change it into a wood workshop. Or a brewery or anything. Even if it makes one denar profit per day, it's still good. Still getting the renown, so that's all that matters. Money, the money is in smithing. Varagos Castle. If I am to talk to Milady, I'm going to need to save scum. You know, speed run. Obviously gonna save scum. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not selling. That's it. We've done enough sales for now. Now we are going to stockpile a large amount of materials. Okay, let me save scum for Milady. Ah, what you do for love. Love, we're gonna name it love. Hello, my lady. Well, right now, when we make our introduction with to Chalia, it's not gonna matter too much. We have high chance of uh, success. See, 94%. But there's still 6% chance we're gonna fuck it up. Saves coming will become more important once we have this success and we're gonna have to propose. Okay, milady. Let's check milady out. Let's check her assets. 122 steward skill. That is wonderful. And for the next few days, we will spend them in Saneopa, smithing, and waiting in smithing, and buying Pugios and other kinds of weapons, wonderful weapons. Nope, there's no wonderful weapons for sale in here. Well, these guys are pretty good, can't complain.
And there we go, I've unlocked the War Razor Blade. If the War Razor Blade is for a two-handed polearm, and not a two-handed uh, sword, that's going to sit, make a lot of money. But it will cost steel to make. Let's check it out. Two-handed polearm. War... nope. No, I think I unlocked the War Razor Blade for two-handed sword. Yep, this one. Fine steel. Nope. Why make something out of fine steel when we can make stuff out of wrought iron? So yeah, let's make some easy stuff. Alright, we are going to compare the simple Falk with a simple Javelin. 68k, it would seem. What about Javelin? Still 68k? No, the simple Harpoon is actually 40k. So it's less money, but also fewer materials. So, you know, it might be better to make Harpoons in the long run. I don't know, I'll be thinking about it. Let's wait for one more day, make more swords. Actually talk to Chason. Make some money from him. Alright, Mr. Chason, your money or your life. Easy money. Also, maybe I can talk to him. Something I'd like to discuss. An alliance. I can't offer my own hand. That's a shame. So I'm gonna wait here a while. Regenerate my stamina, make more swords or... Harpoons, I guess. And then I'm going to Chalia. Propose. Saves come before, of course. Gotta save my game. Why did I click trade? Let's see what this one does. Okay, with one piece of steel, we're able to get uh, 68k. What if we use the piece of fine steel? Un javelin, un harpoon, this thing, this thing, and this thing. And now, fancy javelin, and we're gonna see how well it sells. Hmm, same price. No difference. 
So I could just make them out of steel. Get 68k. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Harpoon. We're gonna call them riveted or reinforced javelins since it's using this reinforcement. I'm getting luckier and luckier. This javelin design is even better. It does use steel though. I will have to get some more. future together. Hmm. Oh god, no. Okay, success for this one. 59%. Okay, this worked. Nice. I'm getting luckier. Hey, yes, my lady. Chase on, I will need to talk to him, of course. Hell yeah, that worked. Speak about luck. I could have easily wasted 10 to 20 minutes, just saves coming in here. But no, it worked well. First try, first go. Uh-oh. Now this here is a bit of bad luck, but, you know, I can pay them off. Ooh. Okay. You boys are asking for too much. Well... Try to get away. Go ahead with that. Oh, crap. Lost a lot of stuff. Oh, man. That sucks. But you know what? <laughs> I actually saved right after Chalia accepted me. So, you know. I don't need to lose that stuff. I don't need to suffer a setback. All right, Mr. Chason, let us have a chat. I do hope I saved the game after I talked to Chalia. Okay, and this is an opportunity to sell more of my weapons. Wonderful! This ain't the best thing I've ever done. It's going well so far. I'm abusing some mechanics, I'm doing all the good stuff, but you know it's for a good cause. Now Chalia will be appointed to be my quartermaster, and you, my friend, will be my surgeon. Now I need to look for an engineer, though. Engineer? No. Scholar? Nope. Knowing? Nope. Wayne Wright? Nope. Maybe they just don't appear in search. Maybe I need to search for them like this. Nope. Nobody. No such companions arrived. 
Also, my smithy should be earning me... Yep, 20 renown. Okay, time for the next step of my uh, attempt. I can have 50 people in my party because of my wife. She's a good quartermaster, she can manage more people than I can. So we're gonna buy some good food in here. Grapes, whatever, cheese, yeah, sure. Buy everything. Only plus two food variety, what the hell? What in the goddamn? Grain, butter, fish, crepes, cheese, olives, beer, meat. I have all food types available and they are only getting a plus two food variety bonus. This has to be a mistake. Whatever, as I've said, time for the next step. We're going to visit the tavern and look for mercenaries. Imperial Armed Trader, you are perfect. Can't let God do all the work. I'm gonna have to chase down some bandit parties myself, some looters. Now, I wonder if the if the light crossbow was available at this point in the game, on the patch I'm playing on. Because if it wasn't, then that's pretty bad. I'd rather use a crossbow than a bow. Bow, with my current skill level, simply not good. Oh, wait a minute, I why did I forget that Chaliak in, is getting dressed in these kinds of armors? Okay, I'm gonna take her armor for myself. I'm sorry, my lady, but we have to do this. There we go. Uh, this is some proper armor. Wonderful. Let's dress my lady in the ranger mail and the other things. All right, might be a good idea to equip my guys with some sort of stuff, but I will pass through Vlandia, look for crossbows. I mean, I can do that. I can afford to waste the extra time now. I will get them the best helmets I can, though. You. Shameful display. Shameful display!
All right, so far so good. We're also going to pass through like Charon and Poros and everything else. Look for mercenaries and Pugios. Huh. Streaming like this, it's making it hard for me to know when I'm talking, when I'm not. I was saying a few things, but my microphone was off for some reason. And I was uh, talking about some bullshit, and then I saw that thing with Chalia is pregnant, and I was like, already? That's some fast work for her. And the bullshit I was talking about is actually the fact that uh, the best troops you can obtain early on when you if you can afford the money but not the time if you're short on time but not on money you can get hired crossbows and mercenary crossbow men those guys are the best troops you can get early on but imperial armed traders they're all right they're you know decent but they don't have any armor and their range on their bows is not the best. Kinda useless. But you know, better than nothing. Better than having to... Better than having to train recruits into proper soldiers. How much has been? It hasn't been... There is, hasn't even been one in-game year. For my guy. We're in spring. We started in the last summer. I'm not seeing any crossbows. I'm looking for a light crossbow, but I don't think I'm gonna get one. Ah, useless thugs and armed merchants or whatever they're called, armed traders. Yeah, armed traders. As I said, they're not bad, but they could be better. I will, however, have to, to visit every single tavern now. This is quite time consuming. But there we go, mercenary swordsmen, they're pretty good. 
Only one, though. Okay, one is better than none. Okay, I might have to move on to the next part of my campaign. Oh shit, I'm actually far behind. Or rather than saying I'm far behind, I'm... Uh... Yeah, I'm not making much sense, am I? Sorry about that. As I've said, my mind is all over the place. Yeah, I am supposed to become a vassal at some point, but I need to be tier 2. My clan needs to be tier 2 for that, and... Well, it is going to take a while to get there. So in the meantime, I could even look for more mercenaries. Or, I could do something else. Craft more weapons. Get really... get filthy rich. Alright, so what are my goals from now on? Forge more weapons, make more money, increase my renown level. That is going to be quite painful. Oh man, I already lost... Three people? Ah, worthless. Some thugs and some recruits. Right, I need clan tier 2 as fast as I can. I need mercenaries. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I still need if I am to do this. Let me look at the clock. 1.14. Yeah, I will have to eat some of my pizza soon enough. Also, am I getting a profit if I'm selling this? I need to check things out, because um, I've reloaded my game several times, and I remember in previous patches, if you did that, your trade progress was getting reset. So I can't have that. Also, there is no capes in here. Come on, mate. Give me a cape. Oh, bullshit. Alright, let's equip my guys. Actually, I'm better off going to Batania to equip them. Yeah, there's many things I don't yet know. Many things. Crossbow. There is a crossbow in here. But no light crossbow. That can be equipped at all skill levels.
Man, those bandits are super fast. I need to find myself larger groups of bandits. And of course, auto resolve the fights. Hmm, there we go. Mercenary swordsmen, they are pretty good. But I'm gonna need to throw some of my recruits away. Hopefully, when I auto-resolve my fights, I'm not gonna lose too many of these highly armored and highly skilled mercenaries. It would suck. Alright, we might want to keep an eye on this thing for sieges. Maybe I can speed this thing without becoming a... without becoming a vassal. My next... my next thing, the next thing I need to do is to siege a town and claim it for myself. Being a vassal makes sure that uh, it ensures that it goes smoother, that process goes smoother, but yeah. Alright, what I was going to do, I needed to experiment a little bit. wanted to see if I can still make uh, trade skill points after reloading. Because I don't know the ins and outs of this patch. Hosen Folk has been besieged. It's too far away. I might be able to siege a town all by myself if I can take it just right. If I can find a town right after it's been sieged, then it would be awesome. Now let's see, should... Yep, earn some skill points. That's good. Ah, finally, a cape. Almost forgot to visit a tavern. Imperial armed traders. As I've said, not the best, but if I find better, I'll just throw them away. They'll be let go. Alright, once I get to Seonon, I'll visit the tavern. Try to find more southern throwing daggers because those can be smelted into good stuff. And then I can do more things. I can wait a little bit. Wait in town to regenerate my stamina, and uh, while I do that, I can refill my glass of water. That is quite important. Okay, time to buy horses. I need to improve our movement speed, but... Hmm, looks like our speed decreases the more we purchase. We just gotta buy a lot of stuff. It's all part of my master plan. But again, my master plan cannot be put into action unless I siege a city. So I got lucky at some point with the with a marriage proposal, with the Falcon design I've unlocked and even the even the other thing. The javelin, and that was pretty good. Hmm. The armors in here suck, which is strange, because my my smithy should be making good armors. Mm, doesn't change, doesn't show. In another patch, it shows you that it makes super armor or something like that.
And of course, as always, I forgot to visit the tavern. All right, mercenary cavalry, they're pretty good. Only one? Hmm, that's kind of sad. All right, where's my smithy? Okay, my smithy stamina is pretty good. But I will have to spend a lot of it to simply refine. All right, I gotta make the most out of my time. So in order to optimize my uh, sm my speed run experience and cut out the bullshit that I need to do, like filling my glass of water, I've done that while waiting. So you know, waiting regenerates stamina and fill yourself a glass of water. What can be better than that? Now, what shall we make? Javelins, harpoon head, Steel reinforcement and this one and um, nope, no reason to use the other one. Reinforced javelin. Oh, also, the reason I... I don't know if I explained this at the beginning, but the reason my flag looks like this... Although I should change it a little bit. Not my own, my banner. The reason I chose a dog... as my symbol is because I'm running like a dog to get this done. So, yeah. A little fun fact for you, I don't like these guys, I don't like these guys, they're battalion armed traitors. Just one at that. What the hell? Didn't I already visit this tavern? Why is there a watchman in here? There was already a guy 
an armed traitor, if I remember correctly. Could there be multiple mercenaries in here? Because I don't know. I don't know how mercenaries go, but I know that in this patch, I don't have the option to just hire from this window. Oil. I like oil. Let's try to find some buyers for my weapons, shall we? Actually, I could sell some of my weapons in here. Wait, there's something I forgot to do. I needed to check for southern throwing daggers, although I don't think we're gonna find some. Oh, stacked bodkin arrows. Oh, and I was looking for armors as well. Let's get Milady a Highland Noble armor. Offers better protection. Alright, that took me a while to equip my guys. Also, there's something I need to do. I don't like this color. I liked it more when it was like this. Running like a dog. Let's search for Caladog and sell him some good weapons, shall we? Ah, there he is. He's in an army. Nope. Alright, that's a fair amount of money. I may not be able to get all this money from him. Or am I? Easy, easy money here. All is good, I'm almost at one million. At some point I did do one... Uh, I did a speed run to one million dinars. 
I even narrated the important parts, you know, after I've done it. I took the time to narrate it, but I did not post it on my YouTube page. Don't know why. I guess I had the idea in the back of my mind that if I post a speedrun, it should be for the whole thing, not just one million dinars. Anyone can do that. Well, anyone can do this, to be honest. If anybody gets my strategies and implements them perfectly and has a bit of luck, I, I see my record being beaten. Just that I'm first, I get that satisfaction of being the first to set a record. Feels quite good, ain't it? Right, let's buy this thing. Now this part will go a bit slow for my taste. Hiring mercenaries. Oh god, clicked again. What else do we have in here though? Anything else? But any armed trader. Ah. It's the guy I already hired. I'm not really getting lucky with the really good mercenaries, crossbowmen and guys like that. Okay, time to use my other things.
Man, I ain't getting lucky at all with these mercenaries I'm finding. Only armed traitors and thugs. Nothing worthwhile. I did find a couple of swordsmen and one horseman, but those are some very low numbers. So what do we lose? Armed traders and watchmen. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Alright, we're almost at tier 1. At tier 1 I do have a chance of sieging a town all by myself. Provided my mercenaries are good. Mercenaries I'm finding. Alright, Sturgeon... Uh, these Sturgeon taverns are pretty difficult... Ah. Uh, Sorry about that. Difficult to navigate, I wanted to say. Before I had to fucking burp. And I navigated it for nothing. Or is it? Maybe there's something I missed. Did not look here. No, there's nothing to look at here. Nope. No mercenaries in here. Well, looks like this is all I have. Bunch of thugs and armed traitors. Looks like I gotta look for bandits, looters, whatever. But I will still visit every tavern and in case I find someone good inside, I will dismiss some of my shittier soldiers. Nobody in here, of course. The sax is a pretty good weapon to smelt. It smells into, into a lot of iron and uh, even a bit of steel, I believe. I realized I've done a mistake in all these looter fights I've been engaged in. Taking them prisoner and then taking their loot. It's worthless. It's a waste of time. Should not do that anymore. Let's get rid of them. And, uh, well, I need to buy more horses. Oh boy, these are expensive in here. Jesus.
Seriously, I lost one of my mercenary swordsmen to these looters. I have to actually fight this battle. Without proper management of my troops, we could lose. Also, no talking during my... Uh, during battles. Sorry about that. It's a lot of noise. Make a shield wall! Forward! Infantry, move! Infantry, forward! Damn it, I keep forgetting. And I'm looting these guys. Alright, well at least we're tier 1 now. Maybe I can speed things up a little bit. We'll see. I will need more mercenaries though. Now that I'm tier 1, however, I will need to go to the closest city. Well, not the closest city. I'll go to Omor and set up myself up a tannery. If there's already a tannery in that town, I will have to buy that one. So I might have to walk for a little while. Five minutes or more. I don't know. I will, however, need to do that because, you know, gets me close to... I'm going to earn two renown passively per day. And if I spend my days smithing at the forge, it's going to add up in no time. Get me to tier two, I'll be able to become a vassal. And if I'm a vassal, I have an easier time sieging a town, taking it for myself. You'll see why I need to siege a town and take it for myself. All will be revealed, my children, don't you worry. Oh, Raganvad. Raganvad. Hello, good sir. I would like to purchase your money. What the hell? There's a poor guy. 
Get a job, Ragnvad. Clearly being a king doesn't suit you. The reason I'm hiring Sturgeon recruits is because they can be trained into pretty decent archers. I mean, there's nothing that comes close to the Batanian Fion, but getting these guys when playing on realistic, it's not realistic. I mean, I could get them in, I don't know, 50 hours, maybe. But I don't have 50 hours at my disposal. So I gotta move quick. I think it is actually worthwhile to just loot these guys for whatever bullshit they have on themselves. Okay, Brewer, Potter, Brewer. There is no uh, Tanner in shop in here in in this town. So I'm gonna have to go in, take a walk around the town center, and buy myself a thing, and then I'll get passive renown every day. Two points of renown every day. I don't know how much I need to get to the next clan tier. It will take a little bit. But I still need to build myself a good army. That's some easy money right there. I really got lucky with those weapon designs, as I've said.
All right, 86 renown. Next year is at 150. So in two days we'll be at 90, after which I'm gonna need to wait about, uh, I don't know, 30 days. In about 30 days of waiting I'm gonna be at clan tier 2. 32 days. So if I were to do smithing in the meantime, it would go very smoothly for me. But I would still need to build a military though. Although for now, I'm gonna stick to smithing. No reason for me to talk anymore while I'm smithing.
All right, we're making some progress. A new baby was born. What to name him? Harold. Of course. What the hell did I just do? What did I do that for? Makes no sense. All right, let's check my thing here. 108. All right. 21 days left. Unless I choose to speed things up. Now, I'm gonna need more mercs. I still have no luck with the mercs, though. I had luck with the... with a marriage proposal and with the weapon... the weapon designs, but... Not with the mercs, it would seem. I might also recruit some of these guys. And, you know, throw them away if I, ha if I find good mercenaries. I'm gonna have to let these looters go. That's not good. Let's see when my last save game is. 14 and 10. Okay. Three minutes ago. We have not lost much. Or maybe not, li not at all. That fight with the looters could have saved my game. Not a good old auto save. Nope. It's actually in Maru Nath. I've not done a whole th thing in Maronath, did I? Nope, we're still at Renown 108. We did lose our uh, smithing session, but that's okay. It's a small loss.
All right, let's keep going. 37 infantry, 35 ranged. It's not too shabby. Also, I might just fight with these looters and uh, let my archers shoot them, and while that happens, I'm gonna just eat my pizza, which I've been eating while uh, smithing. Well, while waiting, most likely. I was waiting, eating, and then I was doing stuff. Enjoy the show, what can I say? I'm not doing anything, I'm just looking at my archers. Archers, stand apart. Forward, foot move. Form a shield wall. All right, let's catch Brindor, sell him some weapons, get some money. I'm gonna need a lot of money to put my plans into action. 
which is where the smithing comes in. Wonderful. Where's Melodia, though? Oh, never mind. I'm trying to see if I can find any village with Fion's for sale, or rather for recruitment. Oh, Aragorn is here. I can make some money.
That's a nice amount of money I heard I have, but it's still not enough. I will need to craft a lot of weapons. Still. And these mercenaries just can't find what I'm looking for. No such luck. Follow your sergeants!
It looks like these are all the mercenaries I can muster. Well, some almost clan two, clan tier two. At which point, when I reach that point, I'm going to buy another workshop. And not only that, I'll be able to hire more men into my army. And I'll also be able to do something more than that. I'll be able to become a vassal, build some influence, assemble an army and take a town. That would be quite something. Now, is the Western Empire at war with anyone? I thought Batania isn't at war with anyone. Let's try to enlist as a mercenary of Batania. Or, you know, I could wait a little bit longer. Get me some extra renown. Couple more days. Get the renown I need, I'll buy a workshop somewhere in Batania and then I'll go to war with someone. Well, I won't go to war, I'll become a vassal. A vessel of Batania. Again, Chali is super active, looks like. Okay, let's roam around for a couple of days. Follow Caladog around. I should be able to be a to become his vassal in no time. Keep in mind I need a town. I really do. Any town, I don't really care.
God damn, that tenor is making lots of money. Okay, tier increased to two. We're gonna become a vassal of Caladog. Alright, all good. How are we with the guy, with the Vlandians? They own a more. We're good. Now. I think a uh, pottery shop in Penkanok should be good. As I've said, even a profit of one denar is good. We need to increase our renown passively. Oh, and now that I'm tier 2 I can recruit more people. And since I'm with the Batanians, I can also recruit more people at once. There we go. And I can also send... send troops. Send uh, one of my guys on a party. Let's look for companions. No wing? No. Engineer? No. Wainwright? No. Scholar? No. God damn, no, no engineer heroes. That kinda sucks. Cause I need an engineer to do my things quickly. The red long knife. No goddamn engineers. Maybe Chalia is an engineer? I doubt it. Nope, no skill in engineering, unfortunately. Right, I need a new companion. Maybe eventually I will find an engineer. Alright then, on to Karbanseth. I will donate some of the troops, build a little bit of uh, influence. Find myself a new companion, maybe. No companions that can do stuff. I wanted the Quartermaster companion. Alright then, donate troops to garrison. I will donate all my uh, low-level infantry, recruits and so on, volunteers. That's kind of the fastest way to build some influence around here. Hire people, donate them to garrison. If I find some good lads, some archer guys, I'm gonna keep them for myself. But if I don't, I'll just donate the rest. Influence is my next big thing. Oh, and uh, renown. I should remember to build one of those workshops. In Carbon Seth, a woodworker. Even though initially I wanted to go for something different. 
I initially wanted a pottery shop in Penkanok, but I could go there. I'm not seeing any fiance. Only this guy. He gives one if I bother to build a relation with him. Now I know my party is full, but let's check the troops in Drimor. Hmm. Let's throw a volunteer away. Let's go to Pankanok, donate some troops to that garrison, and so on. With 100 troops, if I manage to assemble 100 archer units, or you know, close to 100, that's gonna be pretty good. I can cheese the game, I can cheese the fights, even with these shitty archers, I can still win a lot of fights. What else could I donate? Nothing. Need to equip my guys a little bit. Maybe I should also make some weapons for my guys. Or should I just buy them? Ah, screw it. Just buy the weapons. I will, however, make one for myself. As I've said earlier, my only purpose now is to build enough influence. And the safest and best way to do that is to just hire. Hire, donate. We can even attack some of these guys. With my archers. 
and not only with the archers. Attacking these guys will give me a bit of influence, but the most important thing is that I can uh, take them prisoner. I can take them prisoner and then donate the donate prisoners. Will get me a little bit of influence. Infantry move! Make an infant move! Put me archers! Stand apart! Infantry! Attack! If I could donate money to one of these guys to get influence, oh man, the speed run would be so easy. Because you can see I have no trouble with money. I need to build about 200 influence minimum. It would be safer if I built about 300, maybe 400. Some for the army and then uh, some so you can... So, a little bit of influence would be used to assemble an army and the rest would be used to vote on yourself when uh, the king is trying to determine who should be the new ruler of the town you just sieged. Also, why don't I do this? For faster recruitment. Faster recruitment, faster everything. Let's take my guy, one of my guys, who is the newest one, Pelisor Ferher. He can have 50 people. Now oh, that's fair. I'll give him some recruits and some thugs. And now I'm gonna do this. Wait up. We're gonna be done. Kingdom, diplomacy, no armies. Create an army with my own guy. Costs me nothing, it gives me some uh, stuff. And we recruit faster, we recruit more people. I can then talk to him and take his recruits. Get more stuff. More influence.
so disappointing. These guys, the best fighters you can find, like mercenary crossbow men, which I still haven't seen any of them, or the mercenary cavalry men, which I just hired into my army, or even the swordsmen. You, they're very, they're in very low numbers. It's kind of annoying. You find armed traders all day long, but those guys just travel solo, looks like. And I did not have this problem in my previous tests. As I've said, I extensively tested this. Before I decided to do it right now. Alright, let's donate some troops to the thing, garrison of Lagetta, and uh, we'll be good. And I still forgot to do that, so let's go to Penkanok instead. Is my guy already full? Yeah, he has 50 pe people in his army. Let's get rid of some of these guys. I should see a huge influence spike once I get here and do this. That was a decent gain of influence. Alright, more Botanian armed traders. We'll take them. They're not so bad. I mean, they're archers, so what more can you ask for them from them? They're good enough for me. Oh, nearly forgot again. Let's wait in here for a while. And as soon as day comes, I'll head in and purchase myself a pottery shop. Let's see, what do we have in here? Potter, Tanner, Vintner. Yeah, a pottery shop should work just fine. But there is no clay in town, so it's a bit weird. There's already a pottery shop in here. That's pretty good. We're gonna get it. Alright, the money and the 
More importantly, the renown should be rolling in as we speak. Well, while I'm busy building this influence, why don't I look around, see maybe... Maybe my guys are sieging a town. I could join the army, who knows. Maybe if I get involved in the siege, I get a claim at the fief they've sieged without having to spend extra influence. I think 200 influence is enough. We don't need to farm more this way. We're just gonna donate a couple more troops to the garrisons. And when we're at 200 and something influence, we'll move on. Hmm, got 70 rangers. That's pretty good. If I use them correctly, I can win any battle. Provided I'm not horribly outnumbered, of course. Right, 40 volunteers from this guy. And we are going to go to the keep, donate troops to garrison. Just some basic volunteers, nothing special. 164. We are inching closer, but not fast enough. Let's see, thugs. Rote is taken. Vote for an owner. Hmm. Okay. I can already get this one. That's pretty good. And I didn't even need to siege. 
but can I cancel? Yeah, I can. I need to save just in case. And I will spend 100 influence to take this one. Let's see. What am I getting? Hmm. Has been given to me with majority support and I didn't even need to take it. Good. Final stage of my... Uh, of this... well... How to take it. How to say it. That's it. We're, we're in the end game now. I'm gonna sell all my goods in here. Regardless of how much I'm getting paid. And now I'm going to buy them for cheap. Yeah. All of them are super cheap. And all the goods. Well, not all the goods, obviously. The iron, the clay, the hardwood. The smithing materials must be taken first. Fully. Fine steel is a smithing material. Thamaskin steel is a smithing material. Steel and iron ore. Oh, not that much. We did this just to be sure, just in case we're not making a profit on the thing. And a bit of leather. And just to make sure, we'll check the smithy to make sure we got all our smithy materials. It would appear we did. Alright then. Save the game, go to Rote as fast as possible before the enemy decides to take it. There we go. The emblem. Well, my settlement is under attack and I wasted my thing. No, 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 Garios. Wait, what the hell? Is under attack by a Caladog? I don't get anything anymore. I don't understand. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Caladog, for standing up for me. Alright, the settlement of Rote is right here. Wait. What the hell? Oh, god. What the hell is this? I'm locked into being into sieging the thing. Excuse me, what? Oh man, looks like I gotta reload. I should not have uh, meddled in that fight. Let's go back to this one. I'm gonna have to redo that thing with selling my goods to sell on. I did not know that bug is uh, possible. So yeah. Wait, I think I already... Yeah, I already took it. I quick saved. Alright, we're doing this maneuver again. Just to make sure we're making a profit on the things.
Alright, my speed is not that impacted. My settlement is besieged by Garios, but uh, Kaladog should step in soon. Yeah, that makes no sense. My settlement being attacked by Kaladog. There we go. Thanks, dog. Can always count on you. Now, what brings us a profit in here? Uh-huh. Lots of things sell for a profit. And now you're going to see what I like to call Lapis de la Resistance. The glitch that boosts my... Uh, how's it called? My trade skill to unbelievable amounts. And I didn't even need to fight. That's wonderful. Saved a lot of time. Alright. Peace de la resistance. Are you ready, boys? Because this is what we're doing. This is the key. The bug. That makes all the difference. We are... Uh, taking all of our goods. All of these thing, beautiful things. That are marked with green because they're profitable. And we do this. Discard all into the stash. Make sure they're in the stash. Done. Oh, what's this? Thousands of skill points? That sounds like something I like. Now for part two. Open stash. Keep in mind the city has just been sieged. It's lacking a lot of things, that's why the prices are high. If the city wasn't under siege, I'd be getting three skill points for every time I do this maneuver. But yeah, that is not currently the case. Now, we sell these. It does not matter that I'm the, the trader doesn't have money. And we trade. Now this time I did not get any skill points, yeah? It's okay. I'm gonna buy them all. Go to the keep, open stash, and sell. Open stash, take everything, and so on. You get the gist of it. It's very important for a town to be under siege for this maneuver to work as well as it does. And we will actually go for trade skill 250. We need 225 to get this one and make sure we are doing stuff well. But I'll try to get the influential trader. Maybe the workshops will gain me extra influence. I don't know. It's not too much effort to get. So here we go. I think I went to the stash, did I? Yes, I did. Most likely. And if I didn't, it's not like I'm losing much. That's why I have 3 million dinars so I can use them to get my stuff. No skill points right now. But we are getting the skill points when we abuse the stash.
Just to clarify things, I'm not the one who discovered this bug. I usually don't play my don't play the game with exploits. But conquering the world, all of Calradia, without using this particular exploit in a single sitting, well, not something I would like. I think it's gonna take you about nine hours to just grind the trade skill if you play legitimately, which you know I have no problem with. That's what my trader stories is for. But when you're trying to set a record, you're going to use every little dirty trick. And as I've said, I'm not the one who discovered this exploit. And I will, I don't remember right now who discovered it. All I know is that I will credit the dude in the description of my live stream here. Now I'm getting rid of uh, some bullshit that I don't need just so I can speed myself up. Hardwood, I don't... I'm gonna keep it actually. Clay is something that I don't need. Grain, gonna give a bit of grain in here, donate it. The flax, what else? Non-food items. The food is something I need for myself. Food and smithing materials. Alright, there we have it. In an instant I got my trade skill. The trade skill I wanted. Granary accountant, yeah, I guess we'll get it for this one. Everything has a price, you can now trade settlements. This is the most important thing in this run. This is what we've set up for everything. Now we're entering the final stages. Literally the final stages. All I gotta do from now on is renounce my oath to Caladog and uh, run around the map, forge when I need money, and simply buy. Buy every single settlement in the game. That's my goal from now on. Mark your clocks. I mean, take a look at the thing, whatever. And we're going to see how long it takes to go from this stage to the stage where this map is mine in its entirety. First of all, we save the game. Second of all, we create a little... Uh, you see, luck, luck is with me. Again, normally I would have had to get a lot more influence, assemble an army and siege a city by myself and then request that it's given to me. But hey, Kaladog just gave it to me for free. So, you know, as thanks, I'm going to talk to him. I'm also going to talk to other members of the army. Now, uh, I have a quick question. No, something to discuss have a proposal and I'm going to sell him the fief that he gave me and not only that I'm also going to sell him all of my javelins get as much money as I can you might hear a rooster shouting in the background that's because I'm playing this game with my window open as I've said sound quality not the best thing this live stream will offer live stream a live stream without an audience is not a live stream let's call it a streamed let's play because that's what it is what else do i have to sell anything else nope that's pretty much it i will eventually return to caladog talk to him and buy all his fiefs All right, so I sold him my town. Now for the next part. Talk to the army leader. My lord, I wish to be released from my oath to you. And here's the key. Your oath has become burdensome. It is unusual to request release. 
but in respect of your fine service, I've done nothing. I will not hold you if you truly wish to end it. You will be sorely missed. It is something I must do, my lord, to conquer the whole world. Be aware that if you leave my services, you will be surrendering to me all the fiefs which you hold in my name. All the fiefs which I hold? Well, I hold no fiefs because I sold it to you. Why are you angry? You shouldn't be angry. Yes, my lord. And now I'm going to lose a lot of relation with all the Britannian clans. But honestly, that's a price I'm willing to pay. To pay, yeah. Thank you, sir. It was an honor to serve you. All right. Let me save the game once more on this one this time. Shall I change my color palette? Yeah, I definitely should. Blue with yellow. Doesn't look the best, but you know. Actually, let's leave it like, nah, like this. We're still keeping the dog. All right. The hardest part from now on is uh, I'm going to have to talk to each lord individually, buy all his fiefs, and, you know, pay him for it. And do that over and over again. S craft weapons when I don't have the money to, to buy the things. But the thing that is the hardest is that sometimes you'll find these lords in armies, like right now, Prendor, Lucian, and Ergeon, and Aeron. All of them uh, leaders of their clans. They're all in the same army and I cannot speak to them. Because in, uh, in this patch, you could not speak to other members of the party. Unless you're part of the army. Unless you're part of the faction that the army is in. You saw the interface earlier. Alright. As I said, explaining things during a speedrun, not the best thing, but... I got so lucky I got some spare time, so, you know. It's all good, man. All right, first things first, look at Tynops, he's so, so, such a cute guy. Although to be quite frank with you, his fiefs are even cuter. Now. The reason I'm playing in uh, patch 121 is because you see how cheap these are. One city and one castle sell for 300k. If I were playing on 1.3 or anything else, 1.5 or whatever the current patch is, it would take a lot more. Belithor, I think this guy is a landowner. I was wrong. Give him one dinar gift. All right, who else? Everybody has to start somewhere, so we are starting. Well, let me talk to this guy. My army got disbanded when I quit the king when I exited the kingdom. And to catch my companion and disband his army. First of all, I will take the better soldiers into my own party. Release these guys. I don't really need the soldiers anymore, so I don't need, I don't know why why I bother. I just need the guy, this guy. I need him in my party. So we're gonna do this. Parties disband. Members, five out of five companions. Right, let's follow this guy to the nearest city, and when we get to the nearest city, we find out that he's teleported somewhere else. But I need him into my party so I can craft more weapons. Lucian, a landowner. There's something I'd like to discuss. I have proposal. Give me your stuff. I'll give you money. 
Wonderful. Where the hell is that guy going? Pelisor fair hair. Probably to imitate us. Alright, and from here, I'm gonna do something else that'll speed me up quite significantly. I will take only... I'll take cavalry with me. And I'll leave the infantry behind. As well as any unnecessary horses and other animals. Nope, we're not selling. We will go to the stash. We'll just stash them in there. Don't need all this bullshit. Or this bull... Well, I do need most of this bullshit. The daggers, mainly. Anything else I can do with that. Well, I'm gonna take these, all of them. Never know what I need to scrap. Right, what do we need to throw away? Hardwood. Let me remember that I've left a lot of hardwood in Amitatus. Not a whole lot of cavalry units in here. When I was initially promoting the trader playstyle on my videos and everything else, well, this is why. It was the fastest way to conquer the world. Now I will take everyone with me, as many people as I can, and as I find more cavalry, I'll leave my infantry behind. Alright, I just bought a couple of things, right? Thorios Castle, Seonon. There should be plenty of horsemen, Batanian horsemen into Seonon. We'll take those and then we'll move on to the Kuzates. We'll buy out the Kuzates first. Then the Sturgians, then the, well, the Batanians, the Vlandians, and we'll, we'll see. All right, enough talking. Let's focus on doing the thing. I'm already earning 4,000 every day from all the from all the taxes I collect from my fiefs. All right, I guessed correctly. Plenty of cavalry units in Seonon. But the reason I'm starting with the Kuzets is to have a full cavalry retinue. I move a lot faster on the map. So let's go. Now, things will start to get really fucky later on. The more thieves we buy, the weirder things are gonna get. Because these guys in this patch, they have no casus belly with me. I wasn't a warmonger ever. I didn't aggress anyone. There's no reason for them to attack me. They will occasionally declare war on me, but I can just rush and make peace. 
Spring 2, 1086. In about a month, it would have been two in-game years to do this. I'm curious how long it will have taken in game time. So, as I've said, from now on, all we gotta do is buy meat meet a landowner, buy his things, meet another, buy all his things, so on and so on and so on. That's it. This thing takes a while. It can take two hours, three hours, I don't know. But the hardest part was actually getting here. Everything from now on is just waiting, going through the motion. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, I got really lucky with all my things, with everything that happened so far. The weapon designs, the marriage proposal, the thief that I was gifted immediately after I became a vassal. And I became a vassal as soon as I got to tier 2. So yeah, that's pretty damn good. Uh, let's take a look in here. Thieves. No. Still got all my three workshops. Still progressing towards the next tier, not that it matters. All right, Mesui. Last seen at Baltakand today. And here she is. As I've said, after I buy her towns and fiefs and everything, I'm gonna have a cavalry army. So I'll be able to move very fast. I have a proposal. Three hundred ninety-one k for everything. This could not have been done on another patch. Patch one to one is the most unbalanced, and in a good way. All right, crusade neighbor, raiders, crusade whatevers, horse archers. Cavalry army. We're gonna be speeding across the map in no time. But I need to leave my other guys behind. The Imperials, the infantry. And I will need to equip all of my companions with horses so they count as cavalry so we can move faster. All right, got some pretty good speed now. Now, where next? Siratos Castle? Nah. We need to buy the fiefs of this guy. Ilatar. Last seen near Ispantar.
Ah, oh, there we have it. Monchug is here. The big boss. And it would seem I have enough stamina to make more weapons. All right, who's next? Ilatar. Last seen near Metakia. How far is it? Pretty far, not gonna lie. They're in an army. Yep, all these guys are in an army. Hurunag might be closer. Not by a lot. Room is in an army as well. They're all very far away, so... Yeah. Well, I can move fast, so there's no reason to delay. Or get... or worry about anything, really. Still got some herd that is slowing me down. Oh well. I'll keep going with them. Kurunag's army. There's a lot of guys in here that I need. Well, actually not. Kurunag is the only one I need from this army. There's another army that I'm gonna have to keep my eye on. Joguris, that's where the army is.
they're sieging the castle. You can see the ballista from here. It'll soon turn teal. Hmm, maybe I should go in there. Yep, they're assaulting. You can see the crossed swords. Right. Let's go in there and maybe I can catch all the guys in the Lord's Hall. Talk to all of them by the entirety of uh, the Cusade step at once. Alright, let's wait here. We'll have to go into the castle to replenish, rest, and recover. Oh crap, it's owned by Masui. I'm gonna have to talk to her again. Alright, to lug first. To lug, a crum, and all those fine gentlemen. Should have enough money to buy all of their land. Slur, Kanojan, and Akrum, another four landowners. Oh, and Ilatar. Most of the landowners are here. Except Mesui, who just bought this castle. Well, she didn't buy it, she received it.
And there we go. Most of the Kuzeit step is mine, with the exception of this castle. There we go. And let's check it out. Kuzeit, Fifth Joguri's castle, owned by Masui, so I'm gonna have to seek her out again. Where is she though? Esme. Where the hell is Esme? Oh, on the other side of the map. And it's a bit weird because I'm... It's gonna be a bit difficult to chase her down. But yeah, the Kuzet has to be dealt with the first. They're the only ones I can deal with. Oh, it's a castle. Okay, we can catch her. Not to worry, we can catch her. Gotta wait for the battle to end now. And there we go, Mesui's party. Jiguri's castle and uh, pay her off. All right, Kerjit are no more. They no longer hold any territory, as you can see. Next, guys, the next are the Stogians. Raganvad, Raganvad. As you can see, Sturgia does have a few fiefs. Four towns, four castles. Barely. They're barely holding by a thread. Now, I fully expect someone to declare war on me very soon, but... I'll be able to deal with it swiftly. Maybe even before they're taking a town from me. I cannot declare peace. I don't have a kingdom, so I have no access to the diplomatic interface. Let's look for the ruler of these towns. Godun. Godun last seen, seen near this town. Okay, keep an eye out for Yorig.
Okay, these guys are near Uthelaim. Their kingdom is probably at war with Batania and they're sieging it, yeah. Let's go to Uthelaim and see how many people we can find. Fafen, Tovir, Raganvad, and the other guy, Godun probably. Let's actually do this. Godun Forin. Let's see near Forin. Let's search this guy. Oh, he's he's at Uthelaim as well. So again, if I get here in time, I can talk to all the landowners, get all of Sturgia at once. Well, everyone should be here, but they're not. Come on, let me catch this guy before anyone else. What the hell? I have a proposal. I don't want to kill him. One of his thieves. I'm gonna need to go forging soon. I'm slowly but surely running out of money. Now, who else is here? Ronald Munzner, Aaron. Yeah, why not buy some of Botania too? Fafen is back in Sevir. Sibir, I mean. What about Tovir? Takor Castle. He's at his home. Nobody particularly interesting in here. In that army, I mean. Lek, I don't need him. I need the Lord of Takor, Tovir. He should be home. Vashorki. Is Vashorki a lord? I mean, he is a lord, but is he a landowner? Nope.
According to the encyclopedia, that one is the last Sturgeon town. Well, it's not a town, it's a castle. Vildur. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for Vildur. If he goes too far away, it's gonna be bad. We're gonna have to track him all over the map. Jemyan. Okay, he's still in his territory. I'll have to hurry to buy Omor and... Uh, well, I already bought Seonon and Penkanok. Just to make sure my uh, workshops don't get dismantled. I like the idea of getting passive renown gain, increasing my clan level and some such. Even though I don't really need my clan level to be increased anymore. I'm fine with the clan level I have. Don't need anything else. Alright, and just to confirm, Sturgia has no more fiefs. Same should be the case with the Kuzates. No fiefs. Next up, the Vlandians and the... Oh, the Vlandians control a lot of territory. Vlandians and the Batanians. Should be easy. Engalthor near Mott. Mott is in Vlandia. Not around here. Their third. Back in Vlandia. Yeah, let's buy Botania. Let us meet Caladog first. First and foremost. Remtoil. Ain't too far away. I'm getting some nice passive income from the from the villages and towns and castles I own so far, which is all right by me. Still not sustainable though. I'm still gonna need to craft a few weapons, sell them for profit, so I can afford to buy all these weapons. Alright, Mr. Caladog, who hates my guts for some reason. I have a proposal. I have proposition. You give me all, I give you money. Oh, look at this. Over half a million. That's quite expensive. All right, most of Batania is mine as well. Melodier show, showed me where he is by recruiting people. So that little uh, tool tip. See? He got recruits.
All right, who else is left? Ergeon, Prendor, and Aradwir. Judging from their flags. Aradwir is ro Rote, Ergeon. Or is Ergeon? Aradwir is in Rote, Ergeon is in Rote, and Prindor. Hmm. Okay, they're all near the same place. Hopefully, they're they'll still be there. Oh, and the town is owned by Lucian. If I know, uh, if I'm familiar with flags and emblems, I know the Batanians, like the back of my hand. Screw that! I know the Batanians' flags more than my hand. I'm having trouble, however, remembering their names. Like, I know Lucian is Fen Penrake, and Caladog is Fen Grufendok, which wasn't hard since I could read it, but still I remembered it even without reading it. The hell's Maladir here? How did he get in here? Okay, Lucian, Ergeon, and the other guy, Aradwir, and Prindor. Okay. Should have enough money to buy the rest of Botania. And when I say Botania, I mean all of their fiefs. Argon is here. Prindor and Aradwir. You can see Aradwir not far behind. And finally, Prendor. Last seen near Hertogea Castle. Don't know exactly what they're doing, probably trying to take it. I don't care. And to get in here and take the guy. Next up I will want to buy Vlandia. But I'm gonna I'm gonna need more money. To do that, I'm running out. Alright, Botania should not exist anymore. Well, it should exist, but they should not have any more fiefs. That's what you're looking for. So, we got Vlandia, the Aserai, and the Empires. All of them. We'll be going for Vlandia. We'll secure the north, and then we can march down south. In the meantime, I need more money. I will get some passive money when I wait from all the fiefs I own. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. But most of my money is still going to be made by smithing. And we will be, we will be forging those things. What are they called? I think they are called uh, swords, the pointed falchion. One of the best weapons you can unlock and it was the first one I crafted normally when I go to the forge I need to do my refining to get some charcoal I need to do some smelting to get the materials and then 
I have to do... I'd have to actually forge a few weapons until I get a, va a valid design. But no, pointed falcon, I got it right after I was done with the smelting stuff. So, you know, extremely lucky. Speaking of luck, let me save my game. You know what? Let me save it again. And it's also nice because I didn't really have to save scum all that much. I did at some point, but it wasn't that bad. And I didn't have to save scum where I thought I needed. Alright then. We be crafting. Oh, I did say I want to... I said I wanted to craft some swords, but now that I've started with harpoons, let's do this for today. And we'll craft the pointed falcons tomorrow.
I'm calling this one a budget falc because it's made out of shitty materials. Let's see how much we're selling it for. 84,000 for the budget falx as well. All right, price is increasing more and more. Let's do one more day of smithing and then we're going to buy Vlandia. God damn, your spouse Chalia keeps making children on cooldown. That's how she likes it. Alright, let's go buy Vlandia. Let's go back to town, ref refresh our things, our knowledge. Vlandia the third. The third is near Galend. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the third's name right, but I don't care. I like pronouncing it the third. The third. The third. Maybe that's not the right way. Hmm, another way I could pronounce his name? Der Thort. Der Thort. Yeah, that's even worse. Right. Where is Mr. Der Thort? No grunt. We'll, refre we'll refresh and then we'll search for him. He's still near No grunt. All right. After the after these guys are dealt with, Sylvan, who else is here? Calatild. Calatild is here, and Calatild is a town owner. Who else is here? Nobody important. Their third is still near Nogrant. 
Nogrant. I don't know how to pronounce Vlandian names and locations. Now he's not here anymore. He's near Galend. Ah, oh, there he is. My king, I have a request. I need to buy all of your land, please. Wonderful. Now, what are the big cities are here? Four big cities, four different guy. Oh, five different guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a lot more. Engulfer is the biggest target, but we'll go for him some other time. All right now, let's see where the others guy, the other guys are. Vartin is near Drapand, which is right there. Aldric also near Drapand. They might be an arm in, in an army, which means I'm gonna have to find them on their own or stalk them until they get into a castle or a city. Aldric saw me. Let's see who's here. Aldric, Vartin, or Spear. And for Fernhard, I think. Those might be landowners. At least him and Ospir are the guys. So I'm just gonna wait for their army to head into a castle or a town or disband. When they disband, I can talk to them. Because if I do this, yeah, I can't talk to. I can't choose who I'm talking with. Actually, since I'm. since I've talked to him. No, I'm not gonna talk to him right now. Screw it. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Stalk them. Maybe they're going into a city besieging Ortesia. That is very interesting, my good sir. You know what? Maybe I will buy your castles. The reason I didn't buy them was because I was hoping he'd go in. But since he isn't, I'm just gonna buy them outright. And take all his money. Right, I might need to do some more smithing so I'm going to wait here for some time and do something else in the meantime like refill my glass of water
Nobody declared war on me. How nice. I have been gone for quite a while, and I did make a nice amount of money in the meantime, from what I'm seeing. I was not at one million. But now let's use all this stamina, because I still need to take a little break. And I am running low on wood. So I will have to go back to Amatatis where I left all my reserves. Maybe even pass by Seonon to buy some more. You know what? I will pass by Amatatis when I'm buying the Empire. Now let's see, what other weapons do we have? We have the War Razor Head. Now here's an interesting thing. And I can take the time to show you this. War Razor Head. If we just have these, and we craft a War Razor, a simple War Razor, it's not gonna be that good. But when you combine it with the Boar Wings, and eventually something made of wrought iron, doesn't really matter, and you make it a decorated war razor should be much better I think I'm not sure simple war razor 84k decorated war razor 84k okay something's weird because in my last test which was done on this patch 1 to 1 the difference was quite staggering but anyway, we won't be crafting war razors because, you know, they require steel. I'd rather make something that doesn't. So let's get back to the forge. Two-handed sword and... There we go, the pointed falchion, the best one. And now we wait and uh, do something else in the meantime. Let me try something real quick. And there we go. Wasted a lot of time in game. But I need to take these breaks and do my stuff. Oh, right, I'm running out of wood, so um, we'll uh, pass. We'll pass on smithing right now. Okay, some boys near Ostikan. 
Who? Aldrich. Why is he? Why do I care about Aldrich? I bought his stuff. Belgir, Verixan Castle. Okay, Belgir is near his territory. I should have probably turned my microphone off. I unzipped my... Can I call it a jacket? It's not a jacket. It's a tracksuit jacket, something like that. Now, where is Belgir? He was last spotted near here. Oratan. He's leading me on quite a chase. Mr. Belgir. Oh, he, that's because he's with an army. Their third army has Belgir and Ospir. Those boys are landowner. Belgir owns Oxhall. Ospir owns Ostekin. And Turby Castle. Cervic. The senior mot. Well, what else can I do except going? Gotta find someone else. Servic. Servic is near Talivel. And Talivel is uh, around here, ain't it? Where the hell is Talivel? Ah, there we go, it's mine. I own it. Hmm, I'm pretty sure Cervic enlisted in the army. Yep. Cervic, Ospir, and Belgir. Gotta wait for them now. I think I can buy some wood in Oxhall. If my memory serves me right. Yeah, we can buy a little bit. Oh, I don't have any wrought iron. That's a pity. Come on, boys, get into town. Get into town, boys. I hope they're not getting into town. Well, shit. 
Gotta chase them around until the army disbands or they enter a town or a castle. Well, one of these guys broke from the army. Vartan. It's a little castle, but it's still important to get it. Right, where next? This is a large army, it should fall apart soon enough. I'm just gonna follow them all around until they do. I have nothing better to do. There's too many people around. Belgir, or Spear, and... Uh... Where the hell is Cervic? Thought he joined the army. Well, I could forget about the army and go after this guy. Or, you know, hang around the army. Wait for him to come closer. That is also an option. Also, am I tier 3 yet? Yeah, I am. I must have reached tier 3 when I was uh, away. So, you know, I can take more cavalry with me. And I can also recruit an additional companion, craft more swords and stuff. Alright, I will search for Dirt Third once more, but I need to resupply, to restock my wood supplies. Here, Maronath and Seonon. Nope, just this one. This one I'll do for now. Right, where's Dirthy? Inveth? I want to make an investment. That's what I'm doing mostly. Well, someone did something. Let's see. Sylvain, Daldric. Aldric? Didn't I buy Aldric's stuff? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Calatel, they also bought her stuff. Which means the landowners are searching are no longer with their third. Well, party broke. The army gave up. Let's see, Vlandia. They still have a lot of stuff. These boys have nothing. Their third has nothing. Nope. Calatild has nothing. 
Engulfer, on the other hand, Usang Castle. Usang Castle. Now that one wasn't that somewhere around here. Usang. I think I remember where. Well, Usang. Ah, there it is, down south. It was the first castle I ever besieged in Mountain Blade Bannerlord. The very first one. But I simply forgot where it was. If you can believe that. Right. Charas. But I'm looking for Engulther. Okay. Both of those guys are near Charas. Hopefully not in an army. Well, at least Engulfer is the leader. He's He owns the most land out of all of Landians. Wait, what am I doing? It's not what I'm doing. Giving him money. Why would I have fox? Falcons. Now I'm gonna have to find Hecard at some point when he's not with an army. Who else is around? Who else do I need? Cervic and Ospir. They don't seem to be with any army. Yeah, there's Ospir. Who else? Belgir, Cervic, and Hecard, I believe. Oh, and a Karand. How could I forget about that guy? I nearly did not notice Cervic passing by me. Would have had to chase him all over the map to buy his stuff. Hmm, something's weird. Do I not have my... I think I sold my javelins. Apparently I did. I'm gonna need to craft some more, but for now I have enough money to j purchase the rest of Landia before I move on.
think the other guy is going with the army. Seventh. Where the hell is seventh? Apparently I own that thing. But I have no knowledge of everything I own. Now that's a lot of people in here, and that's a lot of flags. Which means there's a lot of guys who own towns. Tynops already sold his stuff to me. Yeah, I think only Apex, and um, that's it. Oh, Dynops owns something else now. Well, I wasn't going to move on to buying the Empire right now, but, you know, since we're here, might as well do that. Fifty K for a castle. I miss the days when this was the case, but actually, I'm... It's better for a long term. Uh, how to say this? It's more fun now in the in the current patch of the game that towns are a few millions and castles are a few hundred thousand. Game was too easy, as you can see. You can finish it in a single day if you put your mind to it. Right, Apis, who else? I don't think there's any other landowners in here. Fea, Fea is not a landowner. Alright, who else am I looking for? A Karand, near Ortesia. Well, there's the big army. Saratis. I think Saratis is a landowner. I don't remember every single one. There's so many of them. Well, apparently he has a lot of money but no land. Which is weird. Saratis. He is the head of his clan, but his clan does not, def does not own any territory. Meritor. Meritor again might be a good guy. Wrong. I have been wrong. Gotta follow Engulfer, Engulfer's army. Lots of people in here. Oh man, it's going to besiege Vostrum. Oh, okay. Besieging Jelmaris is much better. I can find only all these landowners inside. 
Hecard, Ospir, Servic. I've already talked to him. I think I've already talked to Ospir as well. It's a bit difficult. This is the worst part. The worst part of uh, this... How to call it? Speedrun of this challenge. I'm doing this in a single day. It's actually catching up to the lords. They're they're always getting in these big armies and then you have to just follow them around. Hope, hope that it's going to stop. Hey Karen, who else is here? So difficult to see. I think I already bought cervix stuff. Vlandia. Oxhall, which is owned by Belgir, Ove Castle, which is owned by Hecard. Usang Castle also owned by Hecard. Belgir and Hecard, they are the only the only landowners. Belgir is the last one. Hecard is here. Oh, took me a while to buy all of Vlandia. All right, Belgier is next. And the last one. He's near Tormelina in Botania. Oxhall, Verixan Castle, and Vlandia owns Oxhall and Verixan Castle respectively, so yeah, he's the last one. The last Vlandian with land. V, v land, Ian. Ha! Get it? Because he has land? No, not funny. I get it. I don't think it's funny either, but... I'm getting annoyed. It's taking so long to find these lords. Alright, we're halfway done. As far as buying is concerned. Maybe I won't even have to... do stuff anymore. Like, forge weapons. Maybe I'll have to spend a couple of days to still forge some weapons. Five days at most. Afterwards, I'm, it's simply going to snowball. I now have enough land to earn this amount of money in a single day. 40k in a day. And you've seen how cheap thieves are in this, in this patch. 40k. I don't remember paying more than 200k for a town, so yeah. I'm gonna make the money passively. As I s search these guys. What the hell? Charia has given birth to Viria. Very well, she's never stopping. Right, Belgir, where the hell are you? Not here. Palisona, where the hell is Palisona? God damn, he's running around. Third, third, more con, gotta keep my eyes open. Prevent. Here you are. The last V Landian. I have proposition. Give me things, I give you money. That's quite a lot of money. Still, we can afford it. Alright then. Three, 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 four. That's what I paid for the last two Vlandian towns. Would have been nicer if I paid three, 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 three. Am I sounding like a retard? You betcha, pal. Alright, who next? 
I am thinking to take the south before I encroach in the center. Lock those guys in, basically. Lock the Imperials in. They won't have the... They won't have a reason to be at the... At the thing, at the end. Right, just to make sure. Kingdoms, Vlandia, no fiefs. Sturgia, no fiefs. Kuzeyet, no fiefs. Botania, no fiefs. Aserai, plenty of fiefs. Eight troops have deserted from the garrison. Like, I give a fuck. And nobody declared war on me just yet. Which is quite nice, you know. Alright. Jalmaris is owned by Olek. Garantor Castle. Isn't Garantor Castle somewhere around here? Yes, it is. There's Olek. Let's buy all his. Oh, I wanted to say Vlandian for some reason. But no. His Aserai fiefs. For some reason he's not with the Sturgians anymore. This happened way before I bought his land. I don't know what happened. Jill Morris and Garantor Castle. Thank you, mister. Who's next? Unkid. Unkid should have a lot of land. Nope. Couple of towns and couple of castles. He was near Tobilis last time. Here he is, the Sultan. Alright, when I feel that uh, I'm no longer having enough money to purchase everything I want, I'm gonna spend the day at the forge. Till then, I don't really care. Now Yorig is a landowner again. I've already bought things from this guy. Last seen near Sanala, but I'm not seeing him.
Damn it, the guy I want is in another army. Which disappeared, of course. Where to? God damn, woman! Jesus, she's not stopping. She keeps pumping up the babies. Barely had one a couple of days ago, now she's pregnant again. <laughs> I don't mind particularly, but every time she gets pregnant and she gives birth, she can die. There's a chance she'll die in childbirth. And as tragic as that is, I think it's a greater tragedy that my quartermaster is gone. And I'm gonna lose a lot of my soldiers. Can't manage them, you see. That makes me sound like a psychopath. I'm not, I promise. It's just a video game. As soon as this world is conquered, nothing else matters. So, you know, pixels. It's all pixels in the end. Right, Yorig, Yorig is with the army. I guess I'll just follow the army around. I don't think this guy's the leader. Nope, Suruk is. A drum? I think I already talked to him. Purchased his castles. Yeah, I have. Only Yorig is with the army, He's the only landowner, but the reason I'm hanging around the army is that if it disbands, I get to talk with Yorig. If more people arrive, they might be the ones I seek. Karith. What is Karith doing? Is he a landowner? Or not? Yes, he is. There we go. It's most likely going towards the army. Planning to join. Or not. Suruk, please don't join the army. Thank you, good sir. I have proposition. We pay a pretty penny for all these. But it's worth it.
There's my guy, Talas. I'm running out of money. I'm gonna have to rest in a town soon. Like now. Zero stamina. Oh no, eighty-eight stamina. What the hell? Okay, we're wait. We're gonna wait in here a while. All right, so from what I've checked, all the landowners, excluding this one, Odon, they're all running with armies, so they are not, they're unapproachable. So let's get this guy's castle, and whatever else he has. Probably not much, probably just a castle. 
and the village is bound to it. Yahasima, where the hell is he? Oh, it's here. Let's see near Yahasim. But he's not actually here, is he? Is he? Where is he? Where are they? Oh, done. There you are, my friend. Let me buy your stuff. And then we're nearly done. All right. Yorig and Thais, I believe. They're the last ones. Yep. The two swords guy is Thais. Last senior Doka. Wherever that is. Oh, here. And Yorig. All right, these are the last two ones, last two guys. And then we move on to the Empire. Western Empire is, well, I'm not seeing them own anything anymore. So you just have two empires left. Western Empire, no fiefs. I bought some of them, the rest must have been conquered. And now, I don't know. I don't know at all. And we've done this mostly without violence. The only violence we did was versus some looters when we needed that uh, renown to reach clan tier 2. What the hell did I do? And another thing I've done was change my banner about three or four times. Well, I made it once. Red with blue. Well, red, uh, mostly brown. Brown background with a bluish hound. Then I changed it into black and gold. What did I do next? Next, I changed it back into its original form. Then I joined the Batanians briefly and I adopted their colors. And now I'm blue background with gold hound, golden retriever. I don't know why. This is my default color. It's not the best combination ever. It's actually one of the worst, but hey. I personally like it. There's a lot of contrast in between the blue and the yellow. I'm a contrast kind of guy. What the hell, Unkid? Since when does Unkid own stuff? I don't even know how I'm looking for. I guess I'm looking for Unkid. Last seen near Deir Hawa. What the hell is he doing there? Oh man, why? Why am I losing a relation with these guys?
There's Unkid again, being a landowner once more. I don't understand how that Aserai guy is near Balgard now. Guess we'll go to Poros. Situation is getting more annoying because these guys keep conquering land. And it keeps getting awarded to people that I've already talked to. So I have to track them down once again to purchase their land. Unkid, and now uh, a drum I'm guessing. Yep. Alright, Thais. Let's at least take Thais' stuff out of the picture. Wait, that drum is near Danostika. Thais. Thais has been spotted near Onika. Onika. There we go, Onika Castle. Talas. Not Talas, Thais. Where is Thais? Last senior Poros. Oh. Must be in the army. Alright, the Saranid Sultanate, well, it's not Saranids anymore, the Aserai Sultanate. Their territory belongs to me, but they have conquered some Imperial territory which I'll need to add to the collection. So, we have a drum to search, to hunt down. Lavenia Castle, and of course Yorig, who is now fighting for the Northern Empire apparently. So you know, Yorig is no longer a problem for me. Gotta find a drum, deal with the Aserai, and then I'll, uh, I'll go for the Empires. The Northern and the Southern Empire. That's it. That is it, boys, and we'll be done 
within... I don't even know what time it is. I haven't checked my time. Now that's a lot of uh, Southern Empire guys. Maybe one of them is a landowner, so I can buy his stuff. A drum. Onika Castle should have been the last bastion of the Aserai. Duh. I'm just kidding, I like the Serenids. Banu Saran. Alright, just to check. Just to check, Aserai have no fiefs anymore. Nothing. Which only leaves the Southern and the Northern Empire. And well, there should be a Western Empire here somewhere, but I already dealt with them. Right, all the words in here. Who exactly? Turiados Melodir Honoratus. It's changed quite a lot. Half of these guys aren't even Imperials. Turiados, maybe you know something that I don't. Hey, you do. I did not expect Turiados to be a landowner. But here we are. He owns Vostrum. Also, why am I giving him money? Looks like I'll have to spend a couple of days at the forge, at least. But my, le my list of fiefs grows. Okay, who next? Lavenia Castle, Oros. Oros of Clan Mestricaros, or something like that. Last seen a Danusteca, it's close by. Yeah, it is. There is Oros. We can buy his town and castle and everything else. Who's next? Joron. Last seen near training field. Interesting. I cannot look at it though. But it's this training field. The only training field in the game. It's the first time I see someone being reported to be near the training field.
These boys love to be on the move. This guy is leading me on a stupid manhunt and last seen near Morenia. God damn it. Keep going right round. Saldanis finally changed his course somewhat. By the time I get there, however, there's no telling where he is. Probably Poros. Oh my goodness, where the hell is Lanthas? Right there. This is the worst part, having to chase some guys. And then when I get there, I realize he's been in an army all along. And I gotta wait for the army to disband. Last seen at Cyronea. Come on, friend. Just stop running around. Lanthanor, are you a guy? Who owns land? No, nope, I don't care about your problems. I care about my problems. My problem is to buy your, your problems. No, you're not a landowner. I don't care. Joron, where the hell is Joron? Maybe this guy has something new for me? Maybe not. Ah, there he is, finally. He doesn't stop running around. Jesus, at least we'll, we'll be done with him. Alright. We've ran around the world for this guy. Who else do we want to deal with? Sarandon. Should be around here, Sarandon. The Sarandon fella. That Sarandon fella is with the army, so of course we can't approach him. Hmm, well, at least Ragea is not with any army. She's been seen around here, Chinopsis Castle. We can buy all her land. Wait, Temion. Is Temion someone important? Nope. Temion is under Pharaoh.
Well, ain't this a kick in the head? It is. I don't have enough money to buy her shit. Looks like we gotta go... Well, we will make the money passively, but why wait? Actually, why wait indeed? I will actually follow her around, make some passive money, and then I'll buy her stuff. And after I buy her stuff, then it's a good idea to just go forge for a day. There we go. And you know I'm really close to Amitatis where I've stored the rest of my wood, so let's go there. Amitatis. What else is left of the Southern Empire? Poros and Husen Folk. And several castles, I guess. Several castles which I don't care about at the moment. I will have to get them if we hope for 100% completion of Bannerlord in a single sitting. Alright, open stash. And I'm gonna ask for my hardwood. The hardest wood there is. And we don't have to wait too much. Wait just a little bit for 100% stamina and we get to forging. What in the goddamn, we don't have crude iron anymore. Well, that just sucks. Alright, let's deal with the rest of the Southern Empire. Crotor owns Varagos Castle, Crotor, Sarandon, and uh, Faron. Faron, wait, why am I not clicking him? Crotor, Saran, Don. Melion, 
Krator was at Vargos Castle, Shiba Zumr. Okay, Vargos Castle, where the hell... Where the hell is it? It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's right here, Krator. Vargos Castle used to be owned by the Neretzis clan. Chalia's family. Krator. What about Gifor? This Gifor fellow. Does he own anything? Nope. And yet I'm talking to him for some unknown reason. Crotor. Last seen near the village of Varagos. Which is in here. Here he is. There's the fella. Pretty sure this guy I'm searching for is in an army. He used to be, yeah, still the same army. Ah, how annoying. How friggin' annoying. Yeah, we have to talk to this guy before we go to Faron. I guess we'll buy from whoever is available the Sporion. You, you're not with the Southern Empire, but since you're here, might as well buy from you. But you don't have anything, what the hell? It's weird. Well, in case these guys manage to take the castle, I'm gonna have to go in there, talk to the guy. Well, Tynops is here, and that castle that we're near belongs to him. This one. This is the castle I'm talking about. And I have crafted some weapons, but I don't think I need them anymore. Well, uh running around searching for these guys I will inevitably make enough money passively from all the taxes and the fiefs I own
But if I don't, like in this instance, well, there's no reason to worry. That's what the swords are for. I was worried for a second that I didn't buy everything he had. Would have sucked. Alright, these Southern Empire guys are fucked. I'm gonna have to pay attention to... Well, pay attention to nothing, really. The guys are gonna get captured. If they don't manage to escape. And when they get captured, they get imprisoned and or taken by one of these guys. Alright. Another child was born to Chalia and myself. And she's still alive. Nice. Who was I looking for? Saran Don, taken prisoner by Miron. I cannot talk to Miron unless he's here. Is he here? Miron, I could arrange to have him released early. Oh, there he is, Miron. Click. This boy. Something I need to discuss. Well, release all these guys, please. I'll pay you for them. Now Sarandon should be teleported somewhere. Desporion, chase on. Oh, hello. Let me buy your stuff if you still have stuff to buy. Saneopa, release Ichanis. Why the hell not? I don't care. Not enough money. That's okay. Some falcons should suffice. Right, there's a lot of uh, lords of the Northern Empire around here. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for all of them. No siree. Which is why I gotta focus on buying out the Southern Empire first. Boy, did I call it or what? This this guy teleported. He teleported to hell and beyond. I think he's the last uh, landowner of the Southern Empire. Nope, I forgot about Pharaon. Pharaon is the last one. After years of chasing this guy, he's finally here. Something I like to discuss. Proposal, your castle for my money. Ain't this wonderful? Alright, Pharaon. Pharaon is the last guy. Hosen Folk and Poros, I believe. Pharaon. Yep, last seen at Zestea, which means it's near Poros. God damn, she never stops. Jesus. Chalia, take a break. God damn. A running subplot in my <laughs> challenge to conquer the world. Chalia and my guy. They keep getting it on. Pouring children on cooldown. As soon as one is conceived, they move on to the next one. 
Cynthia, whatever. Who am I searching for? Pharon. Can we see Pharon around here? Nope. He was near the stair. Now he's near Darkutis. Where is Darkutis? There it is. Damion Honoratus. No. Not those guys. That is quite interesting that nobody declared war on me. Well, other than the embers of the flame, but those guys can go fuck themselves because they joined one of the kingdoms and and now they don't care about me anymore. Their war is no longer relevant. Well, I ain't gonna say no to Zionica. Alright, we're gonna wait in here a while. First, let me check the smithy. I wanna see what stamina I have. Pharaon, where are you? Where are you, Pharaon? Darkutis. Keeps... I don't know what he keeps doing, but he's never in. I can never catch him. Let's see near Tarkutis. He could go from anywhere. Ah, there he is. He's in Ragea's army, of course. Of course he must be running with an army. Why would he not? Pharaon. Yep, since Pharaon is the last guy. 
Nothing else matters. They're at war with everyone. For some reason. They're at war with... For every other territory that's left. They don't declare war on me. Because they... I've given them no reason to. I've never never aggressed anyone, I never did anything wrong. Just buying stuff, legitimately. Even though, in uh, recent patches, if you do the same, if you're completely peaceful, if you never hurt anyone, not even looters, they're still gonna declare war on you when you start getting land. Especially if you can't defend it. I've done a whole lot of uh, micromanagement and stuff like that in my... In the third episode of uh, tra uh, Corporate Reports, I mean. It's done. I could upload it right now, today. Saturday, 26th of September, was it? I have a tendency to forget. I'm too focused on all this shit. But we're nearly done. We're gonna take Pharaon's land and then we move on to the Northern Empire and we are done. Pharaon, Pharaon. Pharaon is still with Rogea. Eventually they'll give up in a few days.
All right, we are still live streaming. That's good. As long as the stream is still going and I can get back to the game. Nothing really matters. Except Steam crashed. So, you know, that's fun. Let's see, it's 6 o'clock. I started this stream at about 11.30. A bit, be a bit before that, actually. So we are within uh, within seven hours. Oh well, looks like we're waiting here a while. Connecting Steam account. Looks like Steam crashed. Took a little break. What the hell is going on? Steam is refusing to work. Come on now. Don't tell me I have to restart my computer. Because I really don't want to do that. Steam is having trouble existing. What the hell is this shit? Holy Jesus. That's what I was afraid of. What, what if we can... Maybe I can do something real quick. If only it would let me. Nope, doesn't let me. Hmm, what if I just launch the game real quick? Ah, this is the wrong time for something to smell like it's burnt. Let's go. Let's go in the game. Something is wrong, and I don't even know if you guys can hear me anymore. <laughs> Let's see, what can I do? Can I start this thing in offline mode or something? Actually, let me do this real quick. Bannerlord Launcher and Task. Some Steam stuff. Maybe we can end the tasks for everything. See, and that's what I was fearing. We've done this real, we're real close. And it seems right now that the only option to get this back on track is to restart the computer. Because Steam is refusing to work. Blah, blah, blah. Good. I don't care.
go offline. Maybe this will fix it. All right, seems stable so far. And are we still streaming? Gotta check. Gotta check my phone. Yep, looks like we're still streaming. All is good. We're not gonna pause the speed run if it, we, we can keep going. But yeah, all this running around for Pharaoh and other guys, they're slowing me down a lot. And if I'm slowed down, this shit can happen. As I said, I don't know if I'm speaking anymore. I no longer see my uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay overlay to know whether my microphone is on or off. I think it's on. I think I left it on. Let's hope the autosave system carried me, because I forgot to save in a while. We were searching for Pharaon and that's it. We obtained Zionica, we were searching for Pharaon, those were our two things. But I can't access my save games, because there's a loading screen. Come on, what the hell? I pressed campaign accidentally. That's why there's the loading screen. Save Odal, 1749. Oh boy, my last save game is an hour ago. But yeah, this was about 11 minutes before... Before my thing go... Before my thing crashed. We crashed at 6. 6.00 p.m. So we didn't lose much progress. But I gotta remember to save more often now that we're... Okay, we just got Zionica, so I was going for... Pharaon. Luck. Luck is a feeble thing. I've had all this luck so far with everything, but if I can't complete the stream, it's all for nothing. So we're back to forging. It's good, we didn't lose too much progress, but I'm gonna have to remember to save a lot more often now. And if somehow the stream... Uh, gets interrupted real bad, guess I'll post a part two to this thing. 
and you know continue It's always the last guys who are the most troublesome. Nope, that guy isn't here. Pharon. Still gotta wait for Pharon. Can we find Pharon though? Last senior Tevea. With the army, most likely. There they are.
Well, I guess I'm waiting. Sorry about that. Wanted to press another button, but I was pressing my uh, microphone button, so it turned on and off about five times in a single second. Wanted to say I gotta still be waiting. Still be waiting. I wanted to hold Alt so I can see where the hell Pharon is. But I was pressing tilde instead, and tilde is my mic on slash mic off button for NVIDIA Shadow Play. I've noticed that NVIDIA Shadow Play uh, gives a slightly better resolution, a better video quality than OBS streams. That's why I'm using it. And it's using a lot less memory, as far as I know. Ragea <sighs> Zami, the most annoying army in existence. Come on, come in town. Come in town, baby. Oh, f fuck. She's not coming in town. Oh, Jesus, come on. Give up already. And I gotta camp the army. I have to. Okay, people are uh, leaving it. Its cohesion is low. Soon Pharaoh will leave it. At which point we're gonna pause the game and approach him directly. Gotta keep close. There we fucking go. Ragea Farrell. Hell of friggin' Louia. Took a while. Poros and Husen Filk. Actually, I'm gonna give you money. I'm gonna use the javelins when I need to, when I absolutely have to. Good, Southern Empire, no more territory. Southern Empire, no fiefs. Aserai, no fiefs. Northern Empire, they still got four of them, somehow. Only four? The hell? Okay, Lucon is holding some of them. Lucon is holding most of them, actually. What is Lucon? Is Lucon holding everything? Nope. Geth, Margoron, and Mekalove are held by Lucon. And the other thing... Epinoza, Nikasor. Okay, only two guys to speak with. I did not expect this. I was thinking it's gonna take a lot longer. So let's save the game. Let's find us a Nikasor. A hey, little Nikasor, we're nearly there, boys. We're nearly there. Oh, look at this. Lots of influence earned from all of my cities. And we're earning lots of money passively, so yeah, no no more No more British occupation. That's not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say was that I don't need to forge anymore. Everything is good. The hell can't move. Okay, we're nearly there. You know, I got super lucky during this run. If we disregard the crashes and the Steam's errors and everything else, stream is still going, so, you know, if I do this in one sitting, I'm all good. All good, man, and we know, you know, we can, com we can consider this 100% done already just in case the stream fails last minute
Oh fuck, the game froze for one second and I thought that's another crash. Come on, baby. Come on. Nearly fucking done. Gotta find Nikasor. And then Lucon. And it's better to search for Nikasor right now because Lucon cannot be summoned into an army. The king can only lead, he can never follow. Hetania. Ah, oh, fuck is Hetania? Ah, there it is. Nikasor. Nikasor is with Lucon's army, most likely. Yep, Nikasor is here, so it's only a matter of talking to Lucon, buying his stuff, and then waiting for the army to disband. To talk to Nikasor, and then we are D-O-N-E, boys. Done. I have a proposal. Give me your three things, and I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna sell you some braced javelins, because I don't need them anymore. Give me all your money, boy. Alright, Nikasor. Last one and we are... I guess we could say we're 99% done. So, you know, 99% completion is this one. Whatever timestamp you see now. But we're not 100% done. Epinosa Castle. Owned by Nikasor. Save the game. Nikasor is here and yeah, just follow the army around, I guess. What else can I do? Not much. I don't have the option to talk to other members of the army. Traveling to Epinosa Castle. They are traveling there. They're not going to patrol. They are traveling. That's their target. So I can find an Akasaur in here. Wait here for some time. And as soon as these boys walk in... Well, they're coming. As soon as they walk in, that's gonna be it. One... Hundred per fuck. Nope, I freezed for one microsecond. Ah, fuck me. Let's save the game again. And we're gonna be waiting. Looks like we're waiting for a little while longer. Patrolling around at Pinosa. Gotta wait for the thing to lose its cohesion. That's be that's me spamming the three button so I can speed up the game. Even when I stop, I wanna speed up the game. Patrolling around Epinoza. Okay, they're traveling to Epinosa Castle. We're waiting and waiting and waiting. We gotta be ready to pause the game at the microsecond they walk through the gates. Request a meeting. You know what? Forget it. I'm going in and I'm going in the Lord's Hall to talk to this guy. Actually, I think it's funnier if we just approach the castle and request a meeting with Nikasor from here. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Halcyon, sir. Well, 
I have proposition. Epinosa Castle. You get all of my money, boy. Not all of it, but you know. I'm gonna give you a little bit more. You see, 100k. And I'm gonna take all your horses, not that I need them. And with this click, mark the timestamp, boys. This is the 100% run of a banner lord. 100% speed run of banner lord. World domination. I haven't completed every single quest since quests are fucking random and they are always popping up. But you know what? Do I own all of the map? So it would seem. So it would seem. If we zoom out, certainly we own all of the map. Let me save the game. Quick save, nice. We own every single city. And I'm pretty sure we own every single fucking castle. We can go like this. To see if there's anything that's of another color. Or anything is blue with yellow. Nope, I'm not seeing anything of, a, of another color. Everything is mine, boys. Everything. That is it. You saw it here first. World first. World domination. Bannerlord speedrun. Was it worth it? I don't fucking know. Probably not. It's just a video game. Who, who gives a shit? But I, it's something I want to just do. A little something to have under my belt for bragging rights. Stream can crash now, I don't care anymore. We're done. But for verification's sake, just to verify things, to make sure I do own everything, we are going to save the game. Done. We're going to load the game. 393 fiefs. Alright. That might be the number of fiefs in the game. I think the number of fiefs takes into account not only towns and castles but also the villages bound to them. And now to make sure, 100% sure that we actually own this continent, we'll be doing this. What we've been doing since we entered this stage. The final stage. Kingdoms. Aserai. No fiefs. Botania. No fiefs. Kuzeit. Nope. They were the first I bought out. Northern Empire. No fiefs. Southern Empire. No fiefs. Stogia. No fiefs. Vlandia. Nothing. And finally Western Empire. They were wiped out a long time ago nothing to their name everything belongs to clan speedrunner led by Halsey Lion and the wife is still alive after popping up so many children one two three four nice not bad there we go towns we're gonna slowly scroll through them the March of Victory. That's what I'm gonna call it. Again, I apologize for the quality of the... Uh, everything, really. That's the reason I edit my videos. I'm not the best at improvising stuff, but... There's no way I can edit something like this, because if I edit it, there's no proof that I've done this in I don't know how many hours. But yeah, Kaiser Castle. Everything is mine. And everything will be mine at the end of Corporate Reports, which, as you know, I'm playing on the current patch of the game. 151, I believe, or maybe it moved on, on to 152, I don't know. Uh, but I finished episode 3 and... Uh, Episode 4 should have a lot more action. But yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna make this available. Maybe even tonight. 
would be something and in lieu of the fact that I'm not actually streaming the game as I should have been but yeah I could have only done this in a Saturday I needed to do everything to prepare myself some food supplies and make sure I get plenty of sleep so I can wake up in the morning and I can get this done for the duration of the day and you know what I've done this without a single war being declared on me by the major factions the embers of the flame at some point declared war on me but didn't really affect anything so yeah we should have a timestamp in the description for when uh, the thing started when I when my character was created and I went into Calradia and there should be a timestamp for when this was all done let's see clan speedrunner <sighs> I'm tired clan tier 3 anyway this took less than seven hours I'm pretty sure so yeah there you have it folks I'm pretty sure I was the first who did this if not it's kind of embarrassing but yeah I will definitely make this into a proper video a 20 minute video edited well narrated planned out scripted whatever you want to call it and we have done this in about three years and a month well kind of two months mostly we started in 1084 three years in game <clears throat> but anyway I'm tired my voice hurts I need to lie down because sitting on a chair for seven hours straight is not the most fun I've ever had but now I got this done I can cross this fucking thing off my bucket list hope you lads enjoyed even though the quality was you know trash but yeah we're done we are done for today lads and uh, you know my hands claps, clasped together because I unknowingly wanted to do this for you guys should I have named my clan Handruber just for that extra oh, can I actually do that clan hell yes nah I won't do it we're clan speedrunner that's what we are but yeah, there you have it folks, we are done, completely 100% done, goodbye, and thank you for watching.